Hello and welcome to the New Age Geese channel. If you're new here, we're building an inclusive space for people of all walks of life through the power of friendship, magic, and TPRPGs. Tonight we have part one of the Sinkhole Heist, a D&D 2024 campaign set in the homebrew world of Ezoth. Following our adventures, a newly minted Frontier Adventuring Company members. As you can see, I'm not your usual dungeon master. And no, this isn't some weird kind of isekai shenanigans this time. <laughs> but it is part of the Logomancy Media's Roll for Wishes campaign. Um, so I will be your dungeon master. My name is Jackie. And below me, beside me, I should say, are our lovely players. So let's see who's playing with us tonight. Let's start with Joe. What's up, geeks? I'm Joe from New Age Geeks, this channel where you're watching us now. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at New Age Cosplay, uh, and we do a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm excited to play tonight. Back to you, Jackie. Mm. All right, and Dom. Hi, I'm Dom. I'm going to be playing a uh, halfling named, no, a gnome named Tuggle Buggle Cubble Buggle. He just wants to kill me tonight. <laughs> yes, that is typically what I get from Dom. <laughs> All right, and Taylor. Hi, um, I'm Tay Taylor Tay Ray, um, and I am playing a uh, elf um, druid. Yeah, yeah. named uh, Cassiopeia or Cassie. <laughs> nice. I'm excited to play. Uh, so, because we're doing this with Roll for Wishes, if you want to cut cause some chaos, help them, help me, uh, you can type exclamation mark donate in the chat and make a donation and I have to do some things on the fly. All right. Players, are we ready? Let's do it. All right. So the camera pans down from the clear blue skies of Sandy Desert. The air holds a mystery of secrets, as many who wander here are not always found, and those who are come out different. A passenger train with the call sign 4L1C3 speeds past on its way to Stonehaven, one of the cities here in the Oaklane Empire. But first it has to stop at Query's Coral Station. It's a small station that caters to four small towns. You see, they're not big enough to have their own Frontier Adventure Company station or train station each. Um, but Stone's or Tooth's Edge has positioned on behalf of the four towns to hold the outpost. Now, we zoom in on the train. In the first class car, we see seats of plush red velvet, two seats per side. Currently, only four people are in the car. A blonde halfling, who wears somewhat expensive of clothing. Someone who's, like, trying too hard to seem rich. We also have a silver-haired elf in elegant robes, robes, simply reading a book. And the other two are gnomes. One seems to be in an alchemist robes, adorned with golds and reds. Brown hair supporting his head with a slim kind of mustache reaching just below his mouth. The other one has bluish black hair and wears rounded glasses and seems to be in simple traveler's clothing. Now, as we push back through the train car, past the washrooms, into the second car, we see a few more people. But this car has three, six sections of seating, three seats on each side. Uh, we see a family, two women and their daughter, just sitting, enjoying the scenery. Um, at the other end of the car is a seven-foot-tall Goliath of a man. And here we see the three freshly minted members of the Frontier Adventure Company. Why don't you guys tell the audience a little more about what you look like? I guess I'll go first. <clears throat> you see, uh, well, hold on, let me let me get my voice on. Her, when you when, when you see Altera, you see this uh, little tan skinned uh, eyes, kind of have the silvery goldish glow to them. 
Got a nice duster on top of his hat, on top of his head, rather. Blue shirt with a little bit of studded armor across one shoulder that comes down. It's a little bit of a gauntlet on his arm. Uh, both hands have uh, these glaives that have this like, mystical writing on it, as some would say. They're seated next to him in his chair. He's got this uh, his carbine kind of leaned up against against his leg. Uh, his pants, this dark tan brown with uh, his boots that are pulled up about shin height. Bit of a heel on them, but, you know, they help. You know, when you're navigating some of the rougher terrain out there, you'd be surprised how a good heel will help you get you around. Um, <laughs> besides that, most of his hair is kind of covered up by his hat. Um, but the little bit that is popping out, you can see it's this like light dusted brown with little bits of streaks of silver in it. Uh, there is a, a stud in his one ear. That's just this uh, little bit of silver that pops through, give it a little extra color on against his skin. Besides that, really not much to say about him. All right. Uh, Cassie, you want to go next? Uh, yeah. So Cassie, um, she has some very like white pale hair, um, mostly a little blonde, but mostly pale. Um, some very um, goldish brown eyes. Um, she's dressed very woodsy, I guess I would say. Um, she has like a woven, um, a green woven headband on. Um, she's wearing leathers and um, some like fur around it to keep her warm. Um, but she's in the desert now, so she'll probably end up taking it off. <laughs> um, and then um, some long pants and shoes and boots um, that are also made of leather. leather. Um, yeah, um, she carries with her a staff that glistens at the top with, um, it looks like it's, there's a jewel, which with has a little bit of, um, glimmer to it, and she looks very open, open and friendly, and, um, like you can have a good conversation with her. And up. Uh, Toggle Boggle is easily missed in a crowd like this as, uh, He's only four foot four, so sitting in these chairs, his feet do a little dangly thing and don't quite reach the floor. But um, he's wearing uh, dark brown chaps and uh, boots to match, black pants underneath. He's got um, a, a dark brown leather duster and a brown pinch front hat, much like the one Joe's wearing there. Um, in his hand is a dark metal rod with a red gem at the end, and he's just kind of fidgeting with it, not quite sure how to sit still with all the energy packed into this tiny little body. I love it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry there, guys. Yeah, as the train beats on, you've been on it for about a couple hours now. Um, as the as the Goliath had opened the door, though, all of a sudden you hear whispering. Um, yeah, let's do the first roll of the game. Everyone, give me a perception roll. Damn, guys. Cassie's kind of more taken into the scenery. This is very different from uh, her home, where the home of the Sherusha. Uh, this world's version of elves. Is, um, but the other two, Altair and Atera, sorry, and Toggleoggle, um, you hear actually two, two sides of the same conversation. It seems one side's coming from the Teethling, and then the other one from someone in the other car. They're, they're asking if. 
they were really getting off at the same stop as you. That's such a good idea. Does it seem like their concern lot? <clears throat> Does it seem like the concern lies from like that? Do we look like a gruff bunch of individuals, or does it seem like they're a little concerned with all this justice that we're about to bring to town? More the justice you're about Damn. to bring to town. I think we got some right shady fillers on this train. Why don't we illuminate them then? <laughs> I don't like it when you make fun of me, Toggle Woggle. <laughs> Okay, age-old question from every... <laughs> what would we like to do? Indeed. DM's favorite question. All right. Um, and you said they're in the car we're in and a different car? Yes. So you heard the teeth thing speak, and then someone in the adjacent car or the connecting car they haven't really done anything yet should we just keep an eye on them yeah yeah i mean uh, i feel like that's a fair assessment uh cassie why don't, don't you got you got them little familiars that you like to bring out and watch people right and i'm kind of like whispering this now so the tiefling can't hear us don't you... um yeah, well, my familiar, he, he's like a, he's like a big dog. Oh, I forget sometimes, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. But I, I can, I can, I can transform into something. It's always impressive when you do that, I swear. Hmm, let's see. I, I could, I could bring out Flick. Oh. That works too. I mean, let's have you do that, to... let's have you do that. Well, I mean, we got two different individuals we need to keep track of. If oh, you want to watch one, and I'll, I'll send Flick to the other. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, guys, what should I, what should I transform into? Let's see. <laughs> um, should I do like a like a little cricket? Crickets are in the desert, oh. right? <laughs> they are. Yeah. Yeah. You can also do a scorpion. We are a still scorpion? on the train, though. <laughs> So I mean, you know, wildlife gets into trains, right? But a scorpion might draw unnecessary attention. I feel like I don't want to get squished today. Someone may want um, to squish a scorpion. I'll do. Oh, I can't fly. I don't know how to fly yet. Um. Oh no. Let's see. Desert mouse. A desert mouse. Mm. Yes, that I think that's I think that's still I think people could still get upset about that one, but less upset than a scorpion. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. I feel like it's fair, Let's, fair do <laughs> Let's do a desert mouse. I'm gonna wild shape into a desert mouse. Um and I think okay, before I do this, so that you guys can understand me. Um how about how about I watch the tiefling right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll slide underneath are, are the seats are there's like space underneath for luggage, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's some space underneath and then over over top as well. Okay, okay. I think I'll um yeah, I'll go underneath. I'll go underneath the um the the, the seats to get underneath and uh just listen in on what they're gonna do and then follow when and if they get off before um yeah. Like if they change cars. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um hold on a second. Yeah. Um I have an ability um something I have message, but there's also something else. I think. Oh my music stopped. How long does message down? Oh, message only lasts a minute. I am around. Never mind. Shoot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna think I would be able to talk to them, but never mind. Okay. Um yeah, so I'll wild shape into a desert mouse and go ahead and get underneath the things. The the, the seats. Okay. <clears throat> you guys watch as Cassie goes from this uh elegant Sherusha to a tiny 
little sandy color mouse and scurries uh, over here to, under the seats. Waiting to eavesdrop on the teeth link. So while we were discussing that, I'll have uh, flipped my little rod around uh, so that the gem is on bottom and okay. on top is just the hollow tube. And I'll have pointed it out the window. And while we were just talking, I'll have been muttering under my breath as I cast Find Familiar. And with the loud, ah. uh, my familiar flick, a fiendish black raven will have popped out of the, uh, the hollow end of my rod with a burst of feathers and loud caw. Yeah, any, anyone looking at this from the outside just kind of sees like two out the train window and all of a sudden like feathers and a bird pops out like a magic trick. <laughs> and uh, a hellish my... magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I'll uh, tell Flick to fly alongside the other car, keep eyes on the uh, 80 individual back there. Okay. You put them like there. Which one are you watching again? I'm sorry. I wasn't looking when you had clicked and pointed. Oh. Uh. So, yeah. So, I'm watching the tiefling, that one. Yeah. Which one mm -hmm. is Flick yeah. watching? Uh. Well, Flick's just watching the car because oh, you watching don't the know car. who oh, okay. right. over oh, here that's right. we heard is it involved. From the car, not a specific person. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, I can see through the eyes of my familiar. Da, da. Yes, I think you have to, to like ground yourself, but yes. Yeah, because, like, I think right. you can't hear or see. Yeah. Yeah, like, your immediate surroundings. It's one or the other. So I will, uh, hold on to my chair and, uh, close my eyes, and when I open them again, they'll have gone pure black, and I'll be looking through the eyes of my familiar. All right. So what you see through Flick is that the, it's two gnomes, and they seem to be in conversation. Uh, one with black hair seems to be annoyed at the other one. See the elf with silver hair kind of look in their direction, but if they're arguing, it's, it's assumed it's because, because of that. Um, but the halfling, a few seats up, Seems to be more on edge than everyone else in the car. I'll have Flick kind of keep an eye on everybody, but mostly the halfling. Okay. <laughs> As Flick continues to watch the the halfling, um, you can see that he seems to be talking whether to himself to to someone else maybe for a spell you're you're not quite sure but at the same time in your car the teethling seems to also be talking to themselves they're saying what they're saying yeah so you hear the teethling say I know everything's at that bank, and that we have to get off at the same stop at them. I'm just saying, we should be careful, because if we're going to be in the same place as the Frontier Adventure Company, it could bring us trouble. I think they're talking to themselves. Well, I probably assume that they're not, but <laughs> they're talking some other way, but yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> 
And as the tiefling says that, um, you see that the the elf actually getting up, and he's kind of scooching close beside the the well adorned uh, gnome. Mm-hmm. And you see a little dagger in his hand. Uh, we got trouble in the next cart. If I look, um, we got an elf with a dagger approaching some gnomes, but it doesn't look like our mark. Uh, real quick, Jack, you right. saw the message. I did. Okay. I did. I just wanted to yes. finish his little no thing. Um, <laughs> but thank you. They're, uh, what, what kind of trouble? Are, can you hear me? Are you still looking through that thing? Am I just talking to myself when you're just talking back at me and ain't nothing really getting done here? Yeah, I'm just talking to myself. I don't even know why I try with these people sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay. Dom, huh? you actually kind of get a, a divine vision. It seems like it was in the past, but you see... See a town, and you see the the gnome with the with the knife beside him, um, walking into a bank, and going right past the teller to the vault where they keep like the safety deposit boxes, and pulling out looks like expensive ingredients. For, for something. It's safe to say that he's either a herbalist or even a alchemist with what he's pulling out of his safety deposit box. Mm-hmm. And then the vision fades. Huggle Huggle is going to hop down off his chair, eyes back to normal. Going to look at Altair and go, we going or what? Well, I've been waiting on you. I'm just sitting here waiting. I got, I ain't got no daggone magic. I'm just sitting here waiting for you to tell me what to do. Are we going to him to take care of these rascals or what? Plus, Cassie is still a mouse somewhere. I don't really quite know. Um, Cassie can take care of herself. I'm she, well aware she's... of that. <laughs> going to start little leg in it to the next cart yeah, we're, next car are, what, are we just, come on uh, well if there's any mice in this train i sure hope they don't make their way to the next one and just pick up my carbine <laughs> and walk through i'm sure i would have heard that right i mean i'm only this yes. feet away okay yes. <laughs> no you but definitely said it like loud yeah, enough that's right. <laughs> Or, like, I'm not talking to anyone, but I'm talking to someone. <laughs> what is the, like, the train in between parts look like? Like, is it an area where I can wild shape without someone realizing I was wild shaped? Yeah, so there's... This is the best map train I could find. Um, but, like, these... The doors are, like, here. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's, like, a space between... Like, right. the doors to get into the area, and then the door to go to the next train car. Okay, I figured. All right. Um, well, we're train yeah, then I'll, I'll follow them out. And after I'm through the doors, I'll unwild shape. Uh, you hear anything interesting, Cassie? Yeah. Um, well, the tiefling was, like, talking to someone else, um, I assume, because they, they were talking to themselves is what it sounded like, but I mean... I, I assume people don't just talk to themselves like this because it sounded like they were having a conversation. But um, they were they were talking about a bank near our stop and they were nervous about us being there. Um, so I feel like they're going to rob a bank. Well, I got some sort of divine vision about uh, a bank and the gnome that's about to be attacked. 
uh, and some about pulling alchemy ingredients um, from a safety deposit box. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but there was also a halfling in this car that was talking to himself. Uh, so either they were talking to each other, or there's just a coincidence of people talking to themselves like Altera does in his sleep. Happens, happens on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so maybe not talking to them in their sleep, but I feel like they're bad people. They're probably talking to each other. <laughs> yeah. Come on. All right. All right. Wait, where are we going? I just, I just, I heard mouse follow me basically, and <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I feel like I've heard specifically said mouse don't follow me, but I guess you picked up this on the subtext that was there when I said, oh, oh you know, it was. I'm, oh yes, yes, that's right. You did say that. I guess I was hearing the subtext. Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty uh, good at subtext. I'm gonna <laughs> point into the car and say two gnomes possibly about to be attacked by an elf. Oh, okay, okay. Ready? Yes. Are we, let's go. Are we going, guns are blazing or what? What are we doing here? Okay. Maybe we should talk. Should we talk first? So. Oh, all right. All right. Where I'm pinging is like where you guys we are enter. right now. Okay. I was about to Spartan kick the door in. I was going to say, we go in, guns, guns blazing. I mean, might, the door's closed. If you... We might come in looking like we're about to ra rob this train. I'm just a little worried about that. That's not the intentions we're trying to portray here. That'd Listen, be... I am small and excited. Let... What? Put the <laughs> boomstick <laughs> away, T TW. Are you a grower, not a shower? Jeez. <laughs> Come on, TW. I need you to get down a notch. All right. All right. <laughs> You lead, I'll follow. I will also follow. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to the door first. I'll just open the door and walk in and find this fucking gnome halfling person we're trying to protect, I guess. Just make my way over to him. Sir, excuse me, sir, are you in danger? Are you saying that to the gnome or the elf? Or the, the gnome? Or the halfling? The one, the one he said we had a the, knife. <laughs> the gnome. The one he said was in, had a vision of being robbed. I just, I just need to make sure. <laughs> That's fair. But, um... <laughs> How much were you paying attention? <laughs> My brain don't work good, guys. Stop making fun of me. Uh, Gnome looks at you with a like a shaky smile. It's like, oh, of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't you think so? Uh, well, cause... Just having a good chat with my friend. Which friend? I, is there someone sitting with you? All yeah, right. I see the elf. I see the elf. Yeah. All right. Um, how long have you known this elf? Elf. Uh, they're not called elves here. I forget what they're called. The Sherusha. Sherusha, lady, man, person. I need you to understand. We had a divine vision that someone was going to try and rob this person, and we are here to protect them. Yes, oh, set I... by gods. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you. She. She doesn't seem very sure about that one. Fair. Fair. <laughs> I feel like I, I. feel like I really don't know what I'm talking about here. You guys had all the conversations and saw the things. I'm just. I feel like I just got some information. I'm trying to relay it. I apologize. <laughs> um. This may be coming off as a little weird. I'll just look back at T Dub. Do you want to help me out here at all? Guys about Where, where's the dagger? Over there. He shows you his hands, and the dagger seems to have disappeared. It's like, don't. Why would I pull a dagger on my friend? Can I insight check that? You can. That sounds sus. <laughs> Hold on. Insight. Oh, it's not as good as I thought. Oh, 14. You read it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Kathy's definitely like, no, you're, you're definitely not friends. <laughs> I don't know, miss. You don't seem like you don't seem like they're friends. Like so, there. who's the antagonist here? It's I mean, the I elf, can't... I thought, right? Am I wrong? 
Sorry, I thought yes, the elf had drawn it, it, the knife. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, he had. I feel like we may be feeling that role at the moment, just because I feel like I might have come on a little strong here, but, you know, we're trying to still figure that out. <laughs> T-Dub, don't worry. We'll figure it out. <laughs> T-Dub. I love your nickname, wow. bro. <laughs> 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 Not saying toggle woggle cobble boggle. Every... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what, is, what, is, what does she say to me calling her out on that? Um, <clears throat> Trust is CV a little more and says, Well, we haven't been friends long, but. We're still friends, isn't that right? And the the gnome's like... So the elf is looking at you as he says that. Mm. And the gnome is looking at you and shaking his head like, no. Alright, I'll just pull up the carbine. But saying yes. <laughs> throw the lever back a little bit, cock a, a round up in the chamber here. So, again, just so everyone knows, we are not robbing this train. We are here, we're trying to help everybody. Um, but, excuse me. I'm gonna. What's your name, by the way? Person we're trying to protect, little ha Havlin. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a gnome. That's Thank what I you. said, gnome. I'm sorry. I always get that wrong. Like a look alike. I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure it out. You're below a certain eye level. In my head, I get confused. Uh, but my name is Randolph. Thank Randolph. you, Randolph. Randy, come on. Let's let's get you out of this situation. Randy. <laughs> No one ever called you like... Randy before? <laughs> I feel like that's a very, no. that's a very reasonable sh shorthand of your name. Randy, come on. Let's go over to the train. That's, it seems a little dangerous. Say here. shorthand? Is that another short <laughs> joke? Oh, oh no. <laughs> T-Dub. Well, I need you to work with me here for a minute. I'm flat blind Stop here. Stop making it worse. <laughs> flat blind here. Um, Randolph, I'm gonna... why don't you just come with us for a second? And it looks, looks at you guys, looks at the Sheriff Shah, looks back at the other gnome, and over to the halfling who is now standing behind you guys. Standing behind Dingley? us? Who's watching my back? Oh, it looks like I'm in the back. <laughs> um... I'm gonna I was just moving you, you, because you weren't okay, moving no, yourself. I mean, I mean, it all makes, I mean, it all makes, it all. I mean, I feel like we're all kind of like uh -huh. there, right? So yeah. Um, looking at the halfling, do they look like they want to like throw hands? <laughs> yeah, let's go. His hands like kind of twitching. Okay, like like he's ready for something. I, I need you to just just calm down. Like we haven't done anything yet. Again, not Robin Train, just so that's perfectly clear. We're with the, we're with the, 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 give me a sec, Frontier Adventure Company, like, we're good. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Cassie, that's the one that's been talking to himself. Oh! Uh, I know about you a bit. Is there a train car ahead of us? No. Just okay. like the cars with like the coal and then like the, the main engine. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to, I think all y'all, excuse me, Mr. Gnome. I think everyone else here needs to take a good step back. Otherwise, this is not going to end well for a lot of folks in this car. And again, we're not robbing anything, but we are altruistic individuals and mm -hmm. Some of us, I don't know how or why, maybe thanks to some, you know, crazy god named Ramshackle, who may have just have blessed our good T-dubs with a divine vision by using the link with the QR code there, and you can get the link <laughs> if you type donate in the chat. Um, but I don't really know how all that science stuff works, and or religion rather, but we're going to do what we got to do in this moment. So, maybe I'll step back. The uh, Sheriff Shah looks at you and says, But I'm sitting. How can I step back? Don't get smart with me, young you. 
<laughs> can't even say young because I know how your shells are. Old as dirt. Excuse you. Watch your mouth. What? <laughs> I'm not, I don't mean it in a negative way. I just didn't want to insult by saying young. Because some people might okay. take me saying young as an insult. And I didn't mean to come off that way. That's why I changed the word I used. Cassie, you know I love you. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, my best Cassie, here. make me a quick perception. Okay. Can't get my foot is so far up my mouth. Oof. <laughs> Perception. Toenail clippings for a week. Gah, most of the time. Uh, no, you should still pass. Oh. Uh, you see the halfling has re um, now has his own little like throwing dagger in his hand. And mm -hmm. as he goes to take a swing at you, uh, you're able to see it in time and step out of the way to the dagger. Swipe the air where you just were. Well, uh, throwing hands, Dan. Yep. Yeah, I would like to point my oh. staff at him menacingly. <laughs> Make sure you click your token and then roll me initiative. Oh, okay, so then I can roll initiative on D&D Beyond. Yeah. Did that work right? I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yes, perfect. it did. So I hadn't okay. opened the tracker yet. <laughs> so. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> Not good. <It's> so bad. <laughs> Why is mine the only one with a name? Mine's the only one with a name, oh. too. I think it's just how it shows. Oh, no. yeah. Mine's the only one name. with a name. Mm. Toggle, woggle, cobble, boggle. You slippery bastard. I am missing one. Oh, it's because I hit the wrong person. There we go. Except you actually rolled a this guy. And yours was actually this. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Sheru Shah gets to go first. He looks over at you, uh, Altera, and says, I really don't like how you interrupted our little meeting here. And he Correct. takes, or puts his hand on your wrist and tries to shock and grasp you. Does A. I don't think an 11 is going to hit, though. That does not hit. Get your hand off me. Okay. The... Uh, bro... Uh, the bro. <laughs> uh, I almost told you what he was. That's okay. You're about to find out anyway. <laughs> the halfling behind you takes another swing at good old Cassie. Okay. Uh, we'll just use this. Oh, except I don't think. Except a nine definitely does not hit you. Nope, <laughs> does not. All right, toggle woggle, cobble boggle. All right. Um, given that I am between my two friends, um. I'm gonna... Can I climb up on a seat next to me? Just to get a little bit of uh, advantageous view? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me um, athletics to see how well you can climb. <laughs> I got little legs, so I don't rightly know, but we'll give it a you shot. You got this, don't worry. Oh. That's acrobatics. I apologize. Oh, that, that's okay. You want athletics instead? No, acrobatics is fine. No, oh, you get up there nice. like you've been climbing your whole life. <laughs> All right, uh, and I'm gonna turn to the uh, the halfling that just swung their okay. dagger, and I'm gonna cast the tried and true Eldritch Blast. All right. 
Very good. <laughs> uh, 12 to hit. Sadly, a what, what color is your Eldritch Blast? Like, what does it look like? Uh, it is a bright red beam that comes out of the red gem at the tip of my rod. So, I... hey, <laughs> you point your rod at the at the halfling. Is the the this red is what beam we're gonna go with for this whole time, huh? Goes, mm -hmm. but you, <laughs> but you were off slightly, so it whizzes past his head. Dang it. All right, that's all I got. That's all you got? Cassie. Mm -hmm. Hey, um... So Cassie is going to point her staff at him and also, um, like, kind of use it as, like, her spell medium. Okay. And, uh, cast Starry Wiss. So we're gonna see a bunch of, like... You guys watched X Men ninety seven or whatever, like the reboot. Like it kind of looks like Jubilee's firecracker magic stuff, um, but it's like um, all white and gold, and so it's gonna gonna hit him like hopefully <laughs> in the chest. Um, That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no, ten yeah. does not hit. No, I figured. Dang it. Well, it'll kind of fizzle like, out. He he looks That's down <laughs> as, the, as the stars fizzle out and it's like yep. what the hell it's <laughs> great <laughs> alright um, anything else from you? I think that's mm, I think that's it how do I see it? yeah yeah we'll say that's it for now yeah go ahead All right. Tara <clears throat> alright uh, I'm within close range, aren't I? So my, my carbine's gonna have a little bit yes. of disadvantage on its attack. Well, guess I'm still gonna pump around into this, uh, Shahari or whatever they call themselves nowadays. Um, so that's gonna be the first one is 19 to hit, and the second one's gonna be... That hits? 24. Okay, so 19 Those definitely is gonna hit. Both hit. Well, it's only one attack. I just had to roll disadvantage, and I don't know if I do that yet. Um... So I do a D10 plus six. And that, geez, that was... Four, seven? Four, four. No, it's plus six, because, uh... Oh. So it's four... So 14, 15, 13 six, damage. 15. Okay. 13 damage to, uh, the young lady in front of us. Um... <coughs> there's, uh, also... Their speed is reduced by 10 because they are slowed because of the nick. No, I'm sorry, the slow from long range weapons. I'm just taking the longbows one over okay. for carbine because my carbine didn't have one listed. If you prefer something different, that's fine. <coughs> um, oh, I was thinking push, but if you want slow instead, I'm oh, fine yeah, with that. Slow's fine for now. Uh, uh, um, besides okay. that. That's all, I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. Um, yeah, what? Why you gotta? Why, what? What is the point of this? You, I, you not see what we got going on here? It's all of us against you. And that's gonna end my turn. I said play. That sure, Shaw looks at you and is like, You're not the first people from the adventure company we have dealt with. <laughs> Alright, we'll any be the like last. Us, <laughs> As he. or as a. Try and take hold of your wrist again. Um, give me a. Would that be? I know my things. I swear, I'm professional. <laughs> uh, give me a sl yeah, like a sleight of hand or like 
uh, acrobatics to dodge it. Alright. Ooh! 24! Yeah, Glee. Okay. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> able to move your hand out of the way and... I said, get your hands off me! Attack. <laughs> Great mm -hmm. static in the air beside you. Um, halfling's going to disengage, go back a few feet, take out his revolver, and uh, try and suit Togawoggle. You son of a gun. Not my boy, two dubs. Do I get an attack and I don't think an 11 hit. An 11 does not hit. No. They disengaged. No, because he oh, disengaged. disengaged. I'm sorry, I missed that part. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay. He's gonna look at his gun and be like, You were working fine this morning. <laughs> Alright, Toggle. You just got shot at, or tried to get shot at. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Um, flipping the rod around, uh, so the hollow end is now pointed at the dude. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna mimic my friend with his carbine and go, and I'm gonna cast, uh, Scorching Ray, which will shoot, uh, three fiery rays at one target, uh, and I need to make an attack roll for each ray. But on a hit, each one does 2d6 fire damage. So let's roll some dice. Okay. First one. That hits. 24. I'm going to roll all the attacks and then do damage. Okay, sounds good. Second one. That is a miss. Third one. Oh, oh no. That is, one. that is also a miss. <laughs> Alright, so only one of them hits, but that's still... Three points of fire damage. Five? Okay. So, kind of scatter shot that, that fire, but caught him with one of them. Yeah, you like flip it around and catch it again. Three beams come out. Kind of in a straight line, but angled, with only the center one hitting the, the halfling. Togawaggle like, is oh, a little oh. uh, overzealous. <laughs> he like pats like the areas that were that got hit by the fire. So he's like, that's hot! <laughs> Anything else from you, Toggle? Uh, I'm gonna use a bonus action to tell mm -hmm. Flick to uh, come around the other side, if I can. Um, not that he can get in like unless the any of the windows are open. But, um... You know what? Roll me a D100. D100? Oh, boy. Yeah. This is a good opportunity to remind you all in the chat that if you hit exclamation point donate, you might be able to influence these rolls. And donate some money to the Roll for Wishes 2024 International Donation. All oh, you right. Want digital. Let me... Yeah. yeah. You can definitely help them out. Or you could help me. <laughs> well, Why would they do that? I'm just kidding. I think you need help. 46. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the window beside the other gnome is a little open, but not enough for Flick to get through. Dang it. I'm sure you could. Now open the dang window. Wade. <laughs> Scooch over in her seats and lifts it up as hard as he can. Allowing Lava. Flick to fly in like to come in yeah that'll be my turn for now all right 
Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Okay. Um, she's gonna try to hit the halfling again with uh, this time guiding bolt. Um, yeah. Guess yep. It looks very similar to her starry wisp. Um, and that is a fifteen. Ooh. Uh, that fortunately is a miss. What? Damn. Damn. <laughs> All right. Um. Close okay. though. <laughs> um. Has any? No one's been hit yet, right? Well, I I hit. None of us. Oh no! I'm, no. No. Among us, no. Okay. Well then, um, I, uh, that's my turn. All right. Altera. All right. How is uh, this person looking in front of me? With his eyes? No, I mean, I, I put a big old <laughs> hole in them. Did, seeing if they are they all. Looking, I mean, they're hurt, but. They're, right. they're, they're, still, they're still, still pretty wanna, healthy. They still want to fight. They tried to grab me. I guess I'm going to put another round in this unfortunate young lady's chest. Um, I don't know if it's a or not. Ooh, that's not going to hit. That that's, that's a not natural one. Hit. Dag on it. Um, Look at you and laugh. It's like, have you used that gun before? I have. Recently. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't work. It happens to everybody. <laughs> oh yes, uh, performance anxiety. Yes, all right. Sometimes you get a little nervous. You get up close to some pretty young lady like yourself, and things just don't work like they're supposed to. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna take a step back. Okay. Am I making you nervous? A little bit. But now, now, especially when you look at me like that, it's weird. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to, I can't, I don't have disengage, but I'm just going to take a couple steps back, get myself against this window here. And mm -hmm. um, this way, when I do shoot next time, at least I have a little bit of better chance. But I'm assuming they're going to try and hit me because I've moved away from them, mm -hmm. even though I complimented them. Yes. Yes. Um... They have the feet where they can use a spell instead of having to do a melee. Well, of course they do. <laughs> so, let's try and... Does a 15 hit? Uh, it does not. See, why are you doing that? I thought we could be friends. I said, don't touch <laughs> me, though. Come on. <laughs> I'm doing nothing but nice to you, except for the round I put in your stomach. <laughs> Oh, yes, because that was totally nice of you. Right. I mean, you, we was trying to be friends. That's you tried to rob this train. <laughs> I was not robbing the train. <laughs> I said it many times. <laughs> they, they find you quite amusing, so they're going to try and hit the, the little one on the... Leave my TW alone. Oh, does a twenty-two hit? No, actually, it uh, it misses. Yes, it hits. It I have a fourteen. Is. I have a fourteen <laughs> armor class. <laughs> well, I don't know if you have stuff. Like, <laughs> uh, I looked at your character sheets, but <laughs> I am a gnome warlock. The only thing I got is Eldritch Blast and a plucky attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you take nine fire. It's hot. <laughs> and he, they, they look very pleased with themselves. <laughs> well, I bet they do. See, that is how you hit someone. <laughs> I'm sorry, T Dubs. I just got this glowing personality that apparently she seems to like now. All right. And then the half leg is going to try and hit Cass. Cassie. Okay. Uh, you. Also a 22. That hits me. <laughs> what are you rolling with, golly? <laughs> just, just the, just the digital dice. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah. you take 14. Uh. Yikes. Okay. 
That's not that bad, actually. I'm used to playing a sorcerer lately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then he has advantage on you on his next attack roll. You said, sorry, how much did you say? I'm sorry. 14? Oh, 14. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, toggle. Toggle woggle. All right. Um... You got shot. Cassie got shot. What are you going to do? I'm going to shoot back. What kind of silly question is that? Uh, I'm going for the one that uh, my buddy is no longer next to. Uh, okay. But I'm gonna do the Eldritch Blast. Please tell me that hits. That's All a 21 right. to hit. That hit. Alright. So. Oh! 13 points of damage. Uh. Oof. Okay. However, I, I get some added feature on my Eldritch Blast where uh, okay. when I hit a larger, smaller creature, uh, you can push the creature up to 10 feet straight away from you. Mm. I don't know how well, that works sitting. if they're sitting. But, uh, like you, you'd be pushing him in, into, the, into the gnome. Well, maybe that doesn't. Want to do that? I... I can make that work though if you if you wanted to do it. No, nah, that's all right. Um, yeah. But I am gonna have uh, Flick come and just rest with the gnome, just in case. Okay. He's looking a little more hurt, and very very annoyed with you now. You're his uh, sole focus. You're his sole focus. <laughs> that's okay. You pay all the attention you want to me. Leave that guy alone. Anything else? Uh, mm, 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 mm. No, I'm good. Okay. Alright, Cassie, Cassie. <laughs> um, so I'm going to bonus action um, starry form um, using my last wild shape <laughs> but you're great. she's gonna kind of like bang her staff down in front of her kind of like you shall not pass and um, her body is gonna instantly turn into like a night sky um, with, originally with Ooh. the Cassiopeia uh, constellation on her chest but um, after a second it'll change into the constellation the chalice constellation um, Ooh. and that, cause that gives her some options and then, um, so with chalice and then with that, I'm gonna do action healing word, um, on myself cause I'm feeling kind of hurt. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, Oh, sorry, not healing word. Shoot, I meant to do, um, cure wounds. Is it okay if I change it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> okay. I meant to do this. Because <laughs> I already used my bonus action. Okay, so 16 healing stun, full health. And then because of chalice, um, I get to uh, also heal someone else near me. Um, okay. I think it said a D D8. Let me just verify. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Oh, far do they have to be from you? A D8 plus wisdom, uh, within 30 feet. Okay. So it's a D8 plus my wisdom. So I'll roll the D8. And then my wisdom is plus three. So, and I was going to heal um, Toggle. Oh, um, thank so you. So eight. So it's eight. Or, yeah, eight points. Fantastic. And then that is my turn. And yeah, so she's still starry with still, um, I can't change my chalice or my constellation. So chalice. Okay. Okay. Oh, Mm 
Buddy, you're muted. Tag like on I don't it. Hear him say anything. Tag <laughs> on it. So I'm going to go ahead and attack this young lady that keeps attacking my friend. Um, and I will attack with my carbine once more with a 24 to hit. Um, uh, that's going to hit. Yeah, I, I figured as much. And then we're going to roll this D10 for damage. That's a 4 plus 6. That's a 10 damage plus another D8 because of my Colossus Slayer since she's been already been hit once. That's another 2 damage. Sorry, it's just what has to get done at this point. Um, besides that, I mean, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do at this point. I'm in a good position here. I got my back to the window. It's going to end my turn. And your turn? Okay. Well, now it's their turn. Son of, <laughs> son of a gun. They are. They are quite annoyed with you. Both. So. They're going to try and use a chromatic orb on you. On who, me? Well, here. Okay, on the pair of us. All right, I thought we had something special going on here. Even though we put a few rounds on each other, we kind of tried to kill each other a little bit. That's the bit. That's what, mm -hmm. Isn't that what they call the lover, did, the friend, enemies uh, into lovers? Isn't that like a, a category? Did you think that was flirting? I don't know. I figured. I mean, I. who knows? We just kind of put it out there to see how it goes. I mean, maybe in some cultures, but not me. <laughs> All right. Your law, sweetheart. Yeah. So they they, they put their <laughs> their their hand out, and this <laughs> orb of kind of like, um, kind of like a crystal ball kind of orb, um, and it flashes between like purple and blue and red and yellow and grays. Uh, comes out and hits. Oh, I have to make an attack first. Does a does a nineteen hit? Yeah, it hits me. Okay. So you are going to take. 18 cold damage. There you go. Because it stops on the, like, the, the icy blue. Sweet. And it's like Pickle explodes. Juice. I don't like All that. All damage. Like, you kind of look good, Frosty. It's just, you know, things happen in the cold. I don't want to talk about it too much. <laughs> well, I mean, if you jump outside, you'll warm up no problem. Does seem like a good idea at this point after that. Uh, and that's all they're gonna do. Uh, he's gonna try and again shoot at Cassie. Or Cassie. Uh, except I don't think a 12 hits. Nope. Does not. Hell yeah. Okay. Toggle. Wow. Um, I'm worried about Cassie, but I, I'm mostly worried about this gnome in front of me. Um, uh, you can see that the elf is solely focused on the two of you and that the the gnome behind him is trying to like whisper for him to like crawl under the seats but he almost seems too proud to want to do it <laughs> yeah well, that's why I got Flick over there I can do something if something happens but um yeah alright I'm gonna do another Eldritch Blast, but this time at the one shooting at Cassie. I'm just going to alternate one to the other, to the other, to the other. Um, okay. So, Eldritch Blast once more. Oh, my goodness. It's only a 10 to hit. 
Uh, ten does not hit. Uh, these dice do not like me. I... Alright, that's that's all I'm doing. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, Cassie. Oh, Alright. She's gonna try to guiding bolt the gnome... Wait, halfling. The okay. halfling guy. Um... Okay. Yeah. Oh. That looks cocked on my screen. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, it eats me. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> ah! Fine. I know I hate that. Um, how are you doing? Um, how does um, Altera look? Um. Frosty. Hey, always thirsty. Um, <laughs> Indeed. And, an 18 would have been... frosty. An eight, oh, I heard thirsty. Um, an 18 would have been just under <laughs> half my life. <laughs> so I'm, I'm at 22 out of 40. Okay. Uh, I'm going to then do um, healing word, bonus action healing word. All right. Okay. On Altera there. Um, that's not too bad. All right. Uh, eight. Nice. Yep. All right. And yeah, I guess that'll be my turn. All right. Well, I didn't, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to go ahead and cast my Hunter's Mark on this, uh, this young lady that's been giving us so much trouble. That's going to be my bonus action. Uh, after that. Uh, what does your hunter's mark look like? I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I reckon it would just be a, a little feather kind of just appears on their head. Just in the tuck behind their ear. Something a little that I know. Just a little ethereal brown okay. and silver feather. A little macaroni. A little macaroni in their hat. Uh, and then I'm gonna go pop off around at him. Alright, that's a 17 to hit. That does hit. And this is gonna hurt, sorry. It's gonna be, uh, that, plus that. I'm learning how to do this, huh? And then Hunter's Mark is an extra... D6, there we go. Roll them all at once! Ooh! 10 plus 6 is 16. 16? 16. Yeah. They are low health health now. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. It's a Christmas. Okay. I like to use like little indicators, so the red means they're below half. Alright. More for my sanity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh boy. And another attack. Okay. Anything else from you? It, does the bird give me advantage on my attack making turn? <laughs> <laughs> For the future Ooh. references? There. All right. Well, that's all I got for now. Click, click, and. Okay. And you see the teeth link. Uh, but now... oh, no. We got reinforcements. <laughs> Indeed. But this elf is. or the Shay shot Not pleased. We're gonna use half movement to stand up. Uh, how long does that minus 10 last? Is it just a round? Yeah, it's every round. Every round I hit him, it lasts. It re ups. Okay. 
I'm gonna go Dean. That's kind of all they can do. Uh, and they're going to try and f firebolt toggle. Mm -hmm. Not what I said, and you know it. Uh, does a 16 hit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that hits. Alright. Alright, that is going to be 13 fire. 13? Yeah. Sally. All right. Uh, that's all they can do. Is he, the halfling, is also going to try and shoot at Toggle. Trying to get mm -hmm. at least one of you down. Mm hmm. A. Okay, that hits. That's a 19. Mm hmm. Uh, for 17 piercing. 17 damage? Yeah. That is exactly what I had left. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we'll put you on the sleepy. <laughs> Alright, so everyone watches as, as poor Toggle kind of toggles off the chair onto the floor. Like right here, kind of? Yeah, like right, mm -hmm. like right behind you. Perfect. Ugh. Well, not perfect, but <laughs> <laughs> not perfect that you're down, but perfect that you're right there. Yes, right next to the healer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he's gonna take a step back. All right. Speaking of toggle, give me a death save. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we all know what that means. <laughs> right, Cassie. <Yep. laughs> okay. Um. So Cassie would have heard him fall, and she would have turned around. She's like, "I got you, Toggle," and uh, cast. Uh, second level healing word. Wait, okay. No, I wanted cure wounds. Where did I? Where is it? Why do I keep doing this? I I don't know why you keep hitting the wrong Wait, spell. Why? Huh? Why is cure wounds isn't even on my second? I can up. But I can upspell that, right? You should be able to upcast it. It's not even yeah. on my second level area. Level first. How do I upcast it? I guess I'll just do it manually. So it should be 4d8 plus 3. Yes. Okay. Okay, plus 3. Nice. So that's um, 24. So 24. Are you feeling pretty I refreshed? Some play around. New? Oh my god. <laughs> that That's... Could, ah. could you use more? <laughs> Hit them. Hit them? <laughs> Don't remember bonus action stuff. Um I'll I'll take more healing if you got it. I mean I can. Give, I but... can do it hold on. If I let me look at my bonus action really quick. Don't waste spell slots, but No, because of my chalice thing. It's in Yeah. I realize it's a bonus action. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Um, yeah, okay, so then I'll use my chalice and give you another d8 plus 3. Boy, I'll be Ooh. at full health. <laughs> so another 9. Right, close to 9? Yep. That's full health. Woo! There I you go. I love that for you. <laughs> Second time. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, anything else from Cassie? Um, nope, sorry. Nope. Nope, oh, all good. Alright, Altera. Alright. Well, first thing we're gonna do, if you all like this hat, just stand the fuck by. We're gonna <laughs> go ahead and... 
<laughs> we're gonna go ahead and uh, put another round into this sh 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 young lady that keeps fucking us up, even though she's only at half health. And I, so, I mean, I got I'm a one trick pony. I feel like, like at this point. So um. Uh -huh. Oh, she, this snap crack. Uh, that does That's not, not hit. hit. That on it. I need to reload now. Don't two, don't I? Because that was five rounds. Yeah, unless you have. Um... Well, I don't. Whatever the the feet is, not to <laughs> whatever it is i don't have it um is it a bonus yeah. action to reload but... yeah we'll make it a bonus action. all right i'm gonna go ahead and reload I, and i'm not gonna action. make you use i'm not gonna make you use your whole turn to to reload right. imagine doing a whole turn that's with just nothing. Me. yeah that sounds mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> oh, we don't want that here all right so i'll just roll a failed death save to throw Listen, T here, T Dubs. I need you to relax. You're back at full health. I'm gonna reload my bonus action and I'm gonna end my turn. Still on my yeah. back. <laughs> Don't think that's all I'm gonna do on your back, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm gonna take a few steps back and try and hit Cassie this time. Oh no! No! Don't hit the <laughs> healer. What? <laughs> Was the that twenty four hits? Yes. That was a twenty four hits. Come on, <laughs> buddy, pal, friend, guy. Yes. What? Uh, it's only seven <sighs> fire though. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, and since he moved, uh, the gnome is now. Feels comfortable enough to go under the seats and join his his friend. Hope he's like, stay down, stay down. <laughs> okay, the teethling though. What? She is going to five ten. She's gonna go up to Cassie. <clears throat> Oh, no, actually, no. She's going to stay where she is. Uh, she's going to try and ch chill touch. I have that. Try what? Sorry? Chat. Oh, chill touch. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, does 14 hit? Uh, yes. All right, that is seven necrotic, my friend. Okay. Do I make a save? For the healing, or is it just automatic? I can't remember. No, it's just... It's just automatic, okay. Yeah. If it hits. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then you can't gain any hit points until the end of your next turn. Right. Okay. And that's all she's going to do right now. He is going to try and hit you again. Kind of double team you. Yeah. Okay. Poor Cass. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but what I said. Now I have that in my head. <laughs> Does A. Oh, that's not going to hit. That is a nat one. Uh, so we say his gun gems. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to real bad, guys. <laughs> yeah, his he, he tries to shoot you, but his, his gun jams, and he has to spend the whole rest of his turn on jamming it. Uh, toggle, toggle, woggle, G dub. Oh boy. Um. I can't do both of these at the same time. You have to pick one or the other. Uh, the one that's moving away. Yeah. The elf, I think it is. Yeah. There's... Is there an exit that way? There is. Right here. Right behind them. Right behind them. Okay. Um, and uh, 
perchance, does that lead to anything other than train tracks? Uh, so it leads to, like, the coal car, which then is attached to the main steam engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds uh, dangerous. Depends but, um, on how you look at it. <laughs> I don't particularly like that they're going that direction. Uh, how much space is between them and the door? Like, maybe two feet. Uh, that's unfortunate. Like, if they wanted to, on their last turn there, they could have just tried to leave. Uh -huh. But they didn't. They didn't. Fascinating. But you do think All they're right. gonna? They could bolt at any any time. Being so hurt. What was that you say? Bolt. I think you yeah, mean bolt. blast. Eldritch blast. <laughs> All right. What is that? That is a natural twenty. Ooh, yeah. For that, a total of twenty-six. Uh, so it is. On the roll, 20 sheets. If you right-click like the damage, you should be able to do it as a crit. Oh. Well, or I could just double that. It's an 8 plus 3. So you said double the dice or double the damage total? For um, they'll just double the damage total. So 22. Right, 22 points they... of damage. Are looking mighty hurt. All right. Sorry, which one was They're that? Also, on? the one that was at half health or below oh, right. it. Right. Uh, and they are slammed into the door. Do they get not prone? No, or they just, they just, just like get slumped pushed. against the door. <laughs> okay. They just get pushed. Like, <laughs> no. Um, and bonus action, yes. Flick is just gonna move over, protect the little guys. Okay. Demonic yes. little raven yeah. that he is. <laughs> yeah, you see the Sheriff Sh Sh look at you with kind of like rage in their eyes now, <laughs> but Man. knowing there, there's not much. Like he's kind of on like shaky legs now, like trying to keep him keep themselves up, trying to figure out their next move. Uh, Cassie, stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> um, Cassie is going to reach her hands up towards the sky and say, "Moon, give me strength and call down a moonbeam on the ooh halfling. ooh." Okay. Um. Yeah. So it's a. Uh... Where'd it go? A, a con save? Con? Con. Is it con save? The DC is 46. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, they pass. There you go. And Dang. they okay. take... I think they take half damage, though. Let me double check. That um... is 7 D100s of damage, right? <laughs> Hold on. That's all good. That's all good. Uh... You wish. <laughs> on a failed <laughs> save... Oh, that's on a failed save. Oh, sorry. <laughs> on a successful save, half as much damage. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, Eight or seven, whichever one. Seven. Okay. And it stays there unless until I lose concentration. So, if they move, mm -hmm. but if the tiefling goes through it, okay, then they would have to make the save. They have to make the save, yeah. Okay. Don't forget, and if you want to help the players, exclamation point, donate <laughs> in the chat. Okay. Action. Um... Uh, 
Um, but that also benefits the Make a Wish Foundation. That if you help us, you help in someone else as well. All right, that'll be it. Actually, hold on. I wanted like to move into this corner. <laughs> Altera. All right, I'm gonna go what ahead and you, what you got? Take my shot off at this uh, elf trying to get away from us. Oh, uh, that's 22 to hit. Oh we yeah, we knew I was gonna. <laughs> you know, even with shield, that that meets. So. Oh, that is a 27 points of damage. Yeah, no, they're oh they are so down. Um, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> then move my hunter's they mark drop. over. Drop. They just drop to the floor. Move my hunter's mark over to the uh, gnome gentleman that's been giving us problems. I have a name. Not you, T Dubs. <laughs> then you mean the halfling. He's like, I'm a halfling. Thank oh, you. I just, I just feel like, didn't I do this the other way before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, but the the two the two bystanders are the gnomes. <laughs> this, this Randolph is like he looks nothing like us. <laughs> uh, we got a a, a redeem like of hydrate. Ooh. Everybody drink water oh. if you got it. Hydrates, yes. Oof. Thank you, thank you. That's some quality H two O. Thank so, you, reader and rogue. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Oh yes, that is going to end my turn as I drop this unfortunate elf person to keep trying to harangue us in our duty to the greater good. <laughs> duty. That's right. <laughs> Alright, anything else? That's all I got. Okay, the two are gonna look at each other and kinda make a like a silent pack. Um as the teething tries to Chill touch, uh, Cassie. Grab it, Cassie. Put that out. Cassie, does are these branches giving us any cover? I have no idea. Probably uh, not. Uh, probably give you like half. Uh, nice. Maybe half. Or I don't her. know. How tall are they? Are they? They have backs on them. It looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd get cover, but you know. Listen, every cover case. Yeah. If you're standing, they would not give you cover. Right. But if you're kind of okay. crouching. Yeah, no, I'm standing. Hey, I don't think a 13 hits. It does not. All right. Okay. Uh, Halfling's also going to try and hit. <laughs> poor, poor Cass. She's like, why? <laughs> uh, I think a 25 hits, though. Oh. Yes. Uh, for 15. Oh, uh, damn. Okay. How, how are you looking, Cass? I'm not feeling so hot. Okay. Toggle. Toggle woggle. Toggle. T-dub. All right. Um, now, this is where we're going to get fancy. Ooh, because... I like fancy. They keep focusing on my friends here, and my friends are starting to look a little hurt. Um, so I'm going to take a few steps forward towards these uh, ne'er-do-wells, and then I'm going to disappear into a cloud of mist as I cast Misty Step. Ooh. Uh, but unfortunately, as the type of caster I am, that means I am out of spell slots. Um, but I'm going to reappear on the other side of them. Uh, okay. so I do not have to worry about that moonbeam. Uh, and I'm going to once again cast Eldritch Blast, but this time at the Tiefling. Okay, go for it. Uh, 16. 22 to hit. That hits. Or seven points of force damage. Oof. And okay. they are pushed into the moonbeam. 
if I am correct. The, that guy's feet. taking up the space, technically. Does that count? Oh, pushed through it, I guess, right? Push them both. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Trebek. Yeah, they, they both get pushed. You ever, you ever see Newton balls? One gets pushed. I feel like, into yeah, the other? See, I feel like a. I feel like a. Okay, Where was so... my moonbeam? Sorry, wait. Was it? Were they right? Oh. Was it right here? In the um, square? Yeah, it's it was, right where it was... she is now. Where she is now. So, okay. Yeah. So they should both have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So the half. Well, so he wouldn't take it because it's at the end of their turn. He was being knocked out of it. Okay. But she would have to make Does... the save. She's moved into it. Sixteen. Yeah. Nope. That saves. <laughs> so, okay. but so it's that's still half, half damage. Where did it go? Nope. Seven. Just stacking up the damage. So, three? Mm hmm. Great. And then. Okay. And also, I, I didn't mention this earlier. If they're polymorphed in any way, it drops. Uh, they are not. Yeah. I just. I, yeah. <laughs> it's a solid point to bring up. You never know. Oh, wait, no. That's a doppelganger. Like yeah. <laughs> That's if they okay. that's if they fail. I mean. Yeah. Um so yeah, I have uh used my bonus action to block off their escape, uh my action to hit them, and I used a bit of movement. But uh that's gonna be my turn. All right. Cassie. Uh what are you gonna do? Um Trying to decide. You can I move think... that moonbeam, uh, can't you? As an action, yeah. Oh, action, not bonus action. Yeah, as an action. Um, she is going to summon a healing spirit. Okay. Um. It looks, it's like a, it's like a, a transparent, um, bay, kind of, I'm picturing, like, Navi in my head from, like, Zelda. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, this is a bonus action, um, and I'm gonna put it right on me. It's in a five-foot cube, I can see. Um, okay. so it heals one D6. Per round for four rounds. Or it can heal, sorry. It heals four times. Um, so for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So like at the beginning of each of its turns. Or like my okay. turn, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I get 1d6 immediately. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, love that for you. Mm -hmm. Does this count as a healing spell? Oh wait, no, it's a bonus action though, and that's what my chalice thing is. Okay, and then as an action, I am gonna move my moonbeam onto this guy. Okay, again. Just to make another con. Mm hmm. That is 15. Dang, we saved again. It's 12, uh, so 6 damage. Okay. And that is my turn. Gonna help him. All right, Altera, go for it. All right, can I like take a knee, um, to kind of get myself some cover and give myself advantage on the next shot? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm going to uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and aim at you, son of a bitch. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and aim. <laughs> it's just our fucking chat is out of a daggone mind. Um, <laughs> There's a knee you taking. Sounds valid. I mean. I'm gonna take out this halfling's knee. 
as I'm gonna go <laughs> pop off a shot here. Why did it only roll one? Yeah, roll 20, 20 hits. All right. Uh, has either this person way, taken damage before? Yes, yes, okay. they have. All right, so they get the extra Colossal Slayer on it. That's okay. 18, 18 damage. Oof, okay. This don't have to end this way. Y'all can give up now. And what? Go to prison? No, thank you. <laughs> I've been fine with just passing over your belongings. But again, not robbing the train. Oh. This is... That ended my turn. Mm -hmm. Again, we're not robbing a train. <laughs> 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 if you want to live, pass over your belongings, but again, not robbing you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just trying to hurt them. <laughs> Everyone's like, no one is robbing anyone. <laughs> I won't say what, but definitely not robbing. <laughs> not robbing. We got another hydrate. There you go. I... There you go, Cece. I'm hydrated enough. Oh, I do. I have some moon water. <laughs> nice. Hydrate her die. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. She is. What's that? 5, 10, 15. She's going to go over here. And then try and chill touch Altera. You want a piece she of move game? Through my moonbeam at all? Yes, she did. So she has to make a con first. Nice. Uh, and she fails. Yay! Full damage. Ooh! 11. All right. Eleven radiant. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Nope. She takes all of that. Uh, oh, that's oh. Th that's a natural twenty. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't believe you. I don't believe you in one bit. <laughs> it, it, it is. I don't like. I don't believe that at all. <laughs> it all is. shenanigans. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Doing my best here. I know. Uh, so sixteen necrotic. Oh, I'm actually resistant to necrotic, though it's only oh. eight. So then eight. Eight. All right. Yeah, you ain't got shit on me, Doug. <laughs> oh, I have to add her damage still. Uh, I know math. I swear. Okay, and that is what she is gonna do. He is going to going to dash or bonus action dash. Uh, he's going to make a strength try and pick up the Sherusha. Where is my? Oh, let's make a strength check. Okay, he makes it able to pick up his friend and the two of them leave. What? Right. Even only the uh, tiefling left. His speed was reduced by 10. Does he still have all that speed? The halflings? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, where is he? Here. What friend okay. is he picking up? Uh, the dead one? Yeah. That I forgot about that. Thank you. So in that case, the two of them don't get to leave quite yet. But they're by the door and it's open. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. But they're by mm. the door and it's open. All right, toggle woggle. He's still looking pretty good though, isn't he? Who's the halfling? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's hurt, but he's he's still good. That's not great. Um. I I don't want him to get out that way either. But I don't really have much to do to stop him. Uh, where's the moonbeam at this point? I don't think it was here. I think it, yeah, there. Sounds right. Damn. So, yeah, it can hurt you, so be careful. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm gonna move up. Where? 20, 25 feet, I think that is. But, um... Dang it. I don't... Alright, I'm gonna try something different. Oh, okay. And what do you, what do you I'm got? gonna pass Sorceress Burst out of my magic rod. Ooh, what does that do? Uh, cast Sorceress Energy at one creature or object within range. Make a ranged attack roll against the target. On a hit, target takes 1d8 damage of the type you choose. Acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, psychic, or thunder. And if you roll okay. an 8 for this spell, you can roll another d8, add it to the damage. Okay. Uh, and when you cast this spell, the maximum number of d8s you can add to the spell's damage equals your spellcasting ability modifier, which is 3. So, so each time you roll an 8, you get to add an 8 until you hit 3. Yeah, if if I roll an 8, I get to roll another d8. And if that is also an 8 as well, I get to add. Uh, yeah, so oh. maximum I can roll oh, is damn. 4. Minimum I can roll is 1. So this is, you, you know, if I miss, it's a moot point. But it's a, a neat little spell mm -hmm. that they've added for 2024. That is actually really cool. Yeah. I can't read that. What is that? Natural 20 for a total of 26. That that hits no matter who you're targeting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let, let, me, let me say that a different way. Does a 26 hit? Just want to feel the space. You know. Alright. No. Yes. Yes, it does. And that's, oh, that's so only close. a 7 on that D8. That That's not an 8, so... Okay. Uh, that is going to be... Yeah. A total of uh, 14 fire damage to that halfling over there. For the halfling, okay. Let me like choose who you pick carefully. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. All right, they look a little more hurt. Uh, okay. Also trying now to put the the fire out. Um, of himself. Unfortunately, that's all I got. Can we stop him? Can Cassie stop him? <laughs> Gals? Friends? Guys? Mm. Adventure and co-compatriots? How, how hurt does he look? He didn't hurt enough. Yeah. Um. How hard can you possibly hit him? Can you, by chance, create a black hole? What'd you say, Jackie? <laughs> He's below half health. Oh, okay. Sweet. Halflings don't have much movement, do they? I think they're at 30. Oh, they're at 30? They're, they're oh. 30. Oh, okay. Hmm. Unless Ultera hit him. I'm just gonna um move my move moonbeam moonbeam back to him. Mm -hmm. Um so the con save. Okay. Oh and I get a D6 uh healing from my spirit. Hey, all right. Uh, that is a fail. Nice. Okay. Um, 
Sorry, one second. Okay, so Moonbeam. This pillar of fucking moonlight just shining through the middle of this car. Mm -hmm. That's not great. <laughs> um, it's not horrible. Uh, and ten. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and then. Well, that is not a number I wanted. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's my turn. All right. Yeah. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and hop over this here bench. That's not my figure that I'm moving here. I'm moving the whole map. I'm gonna move here. That puts me within ten feet of uh, my friends, my my two compatriots here. That uh, this tiefling and halfling individual who have just so graciously blessed us with their yeah. presence this evening. If that's the case, I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and activate my fiery persona as my wings explode out my back exploding with this burst of flames and just shoot a little bit of holy fire radiant energy at them uh then i'm gonna go ahead and whip out my carbine wrecking it around into the chamber and fire off with this halfling fellow who's been giving us so much trouble um do I have advantage because they are flanked by this crow from my wonderful friend, Tagiwog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just hoping for the net 20. It is not happening. That's okay. Still a 24 to hit. No. Yeah, that, that hits him. That mm -hmm. gives us a total of... And that was at the halfling, correct? Yes. That gives us a total of 27 damage. And then at the end Damn. of my turn, they Ooh. both the Tieflin and the Halfling take two points of radiant damage from my holy presence. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you said that was what's, 27? What's the name of my god in this world? <laughs> yeah, 27 plus two for the... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this, but the Halfling is still standing. I got it. I... Yes, but he's still standing. 27 damage. Jesus. That's all I got. I'm tapped on. I'm tapped, guys. Yeah, you did good. You did good. That's... You, you did really good. But unfortunately, if that's all you have... Then... Some of the bitch is still slow. <laughs> Stand I don't mean to take down. the bird with me. These don't guys take my are... bird. They're out of here. I'm not trying to take a bird. They're Leave Flick alone. She, she will make a last concentration since she has to go through it. And she fails. She gets one last one last hit by the moonbeam. She was dead anyway, wasn't she? Or was she just downed? No, the uh she wasn't the anything. The tiefling? Oh the tiefling. I'm sorry. The, the tiefling. tiefling. Yeah. I'm sorry. Roll yeah. damage. Oh she failed. Roll tad. Yeah. Roll tad. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god, it's really spinning. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Right. Full damage? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, she took the full seven. Nice. But unfortunately the three of them are out. And I think we're gonna take our went longer than I thought. Sorry there guys. <laughs> But we'll take a. I, I blame us. Can we not? Five. Yeah. Or do you want to push through? Oh uh, no, I gotta use the bathroom. So I, I need to a bio break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works. We'll take a five for a bio. All right. Okay. So wait. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. We'll be back in a minute. Okay.
Welcome back. All right. We left off with our three three criminals, we'll say, um, escaping the party. I need to play music. I don't hear anything. I got something. What am I hearing? I heard some like there we go. Welcome back. Yeah. Oh. We left off with our three. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Sorry. <Hi. laughs> okay, you guys just saved the two gnomes from uh, being kidnapped. You gonna talk to them? Are you wanting to just carry we on? Per- we can't pursue the guys. Like, if we go out into the middle area between cars, no, the they're. Around. They're gone. They like disappeared. Because it's the coal car direction, right? Yeah. It is. They probably hopped off the train or something. Okay. Or used magic to get away. Mm-hmm. All right, they can do that. Um. <laughs> can I go ahead and use my last two charges on my thing, Magic? Does that make sense? <laughs> My spirit. If you want. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's like I gets total four charges. Yeah, you can use them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so seven. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, so we should probably talk to the gnomes. Um, Noggle Woggle. These are my friends, Cassie and Ultera. Um, nice to meet you. You you doing all right? You, you can come out now. I, I mean that was quite a harrowing experience, but uh, I think I'm all right. And the other guy's like, I'm I'm fine. Hey. <laughs> I was more worried for him. They didn't seem to want me. No one wants me. Wait, which one is talking right now? Sorry. <laughs> uh, the one who just said that is, uh, is the one that with one. the darker oh, okay. hair. <laughs> okay. Oh. <Wait. laughs> um. Well, uh. Do you know what they were after? Because, uh. I have an idea, but... Well, so the... <coughs> the one in kind of the more fancier robes is, is speaking, and he says... Or Randolph, and he's like, Well, I am a pretty great chemist. Alchemist. They, uh, they may have been after me. Kind of like looking at his hands like, I'm, a, I'm the shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did they say why uh, they want your skills as a chemist or alchemist? Well, alchemists can do many things. I'm sure they want some potion from me. They didn't say what, as I had a knife to my side. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What? What? What did they say? Said that they wanted something from my. Lockbox in the vault. Oh, one of them alchemical ingredients that you you keep in that safety deposit box. Yes, yes. They didn't. They didn't say why they needed it, though. Hmm. I mean, I'm not the only one with valuables in that vault either. Hmm. Do you specify which ones? Which what? Ingredients. No. No, they didn't. Mm. All right. Do you keep a lot of ingredients in that lockbox? Keep more of the hard-to-find ones and rare in that box. Mm. Uh That'll that'll be a good resale value, if nothing else. Um... And uh, the the safety deposit box. Where where about is this? Is this where we're heading, or where you're coming from? Where we're heading. 
at least where I'm getting off. Again, not trying to rob you. I know this whole kind of got that like we're trying to rob you <laughs> vibe to it. it. It doesn't until you say it. <laughs> I just I feel like we have every, to preface. Every it. time you every time you say that, it sounds like you're you're the type who would do the thing they're saying they're not doing. As long as you don't use that on me, I'm I will tell you anything you want. <laughs> no, no, we're not we're not doing anything to you. We're we're trying to help. Um Which which bank is this? We should probably give them a, a forewarning, if nothing else. That uh, some ne'er do wells might be coming toward them. Yes, it's the one in. <sighs> and he looks at his, his friend. Where are we going again, Dennis? You have it's... a home there. Do you not know where you live, sir? Yes, but I I have a few homes. Like you, you need to tell me. And then Dennis is just like, sir, it's in the middle of nowhere. There's one train stop for four towns. On, we Den have to take like a carriage to get there. Come, come on, Danny, be cool. People have brain st stuff with their brains sometimes. They can't remember everything. Just leave Randy alone. Tooth Edge, sir. We're going to Tooth Edge. Thank you. Jeez, Louise. Right. Yes. Tooth yes. Edge? What he said. Tooth's Tooth Edge. edge. Yeah. Tooth's Edge. You mean teeth? Mm -hmm. It's. You smart little. Uh, it's right by the mountains there, you know. The, um... Uh-huh. Digger Tooth? No, that's not right. Digger Tooth. Digger Ruth. Those ones. Mm-hmm. I knew a Ruth mm -hmm. one time. He's... No, you He's didn't. not very good at geography. <laughs> um... Alright, well, when we get there, we should probably make a stop on behalf of the, uh, Adventuring Co. And... and warn the bank that they may be overdue for a heist from tiefling a halfling and well tiefling and a halfling why what what, what happened to the other one the uh the show was shot uh, sh they were shot quite a few times multiple times I, I, I don't know if you saw or not, but they hit the ground pretty hard. Riddled some. I don't say. know. Uh, I mean, in my defense, I was trying to hide from being shot by accident. Solid plan. I uh, take offense to that, young man. I was. I. I don't think I missed but two shots in this tight compartment. That's pretty impressive. Oh no, I missed quite a few. Well, that's fair. I don't mean just by you. <laughs> Also fair. Um, oh, so you're with the Adventure Company. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you're going to see... Oh, what's what's his name? The Colt. Uh, and um, Ski. They're, they're there trying to help set up the outpost, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Guess we but got more res responsibilities to take care of, I guess. Oh. I know Sandbist was a sleepy little town. Now it's quite a booming little town, but I didn't think there'd be quite as much excitement this side. <laughs> What say you, Cassie? What's our next move? I guess we go out. We get off at the the bank stop, the stop with the bank in the town, the the tooth edge. You know. So that's All the right. plan here. We talk to off. the bank. Tooth edge. Yeah. We got a rendezvous with Sky, uh, Ski, and Colt later. Mm -hmm. uh, so be it, but I don't know. Maybe they can uh, help us apprehend 
depending on how far away they are. Do we know if they're meeting us at a hotel? Um, you were told that Alex, a human, would be meeting you at the train station and then taking you into town to the hotel where Ski mm -hmm. and Colt are. Oh, they are at the hotel. Okay. Um, maybe if we, we re rendezvous with them, we could take a little break. I am a little tapped for uh, my magics. Um, I don't quite yeah, have the energy I did at the beginning of the ride. Oh, I also would have dropped my starry form. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you were all quite magnificent in, in your fight. But you had them, and then the teeth leak came, began to worry. Yeah, that was. But she scared them off. Sorry, what was that, Cassie? I was just saying, I wish we would have been able to catch them. Somehow. Well, Maybe if we'll they're still, <clears throat> still after the bank at uh, Two Sedge, I'm, I'm sure you'll have another chance to to meet them again. Yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Alright, to uh, Two Sedge then. Everybody pop a squat and settle in, I guess. Yeah, the train chugs along for another about half hour. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Um, then you wind up at a kind of not really run down, but kind of well taken care of train station. Um, seems to me no signs of the of the trio you met, though. Um, you see a sandy haired young man. Um, he introduces himself as Alex and says, yeah, I was, I was told to meet you and uh, take you over to town. I mean, it's, it's a straight line, but it's getting kind of dark now, so we didn't, we didn't want you to lose your way. Well, thank you for coming to get us. Yeah, much appreciated. Of course, of course. And there's a a carriage waiting. You all get in, and as you ride, you, even Randolph and, and Dennis get in, but it's actually spacious. It's bigger on the inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> carriage. Um, and as you're traveling, Cassie. It's a vision. She finds herself in a cave. There's blue and green glowing crystals around her. Um, she sees winged bat, rat kind of mixed creatures. As as she keeps walking, she. she crosses a, an old bridge um, and as she enters a new part of the cave it's much more open space but still some more of those frying creatures it's kind of she also sees these snake kind of like beings um, just walking around and then she sees the three individuals you just fought. And it looks like they're about to enter into the... Like a cave entrance within the caves. And but before she could follow them, the vision ends. Okay, so I'm just writing it down. <laughs> yes. Um, 
So, Alex, you're from here, right? Yeah. Do you know of any caves nearby? Cave systems? Mm, I mean, there's some. And I mean, some people have tried to jump in the, the sinkholes that are popping up around town. Oh. Um, sinkholes. Yeah. They're... Are they like, can I... have they found anything at the bottom of them? Some seem to house... I mean, there's caves. Some have glowing crystals in them. Some don't. They don't seem to be connected, but... Maybe they are, and they just haven't gone deep enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I mean by deep enough. Is further further Alex, into the caves. Is Alex part of the Frontier group? What are they called? Frontier Venture Company? Yeah, are they part? is he part of that group? Kind of. Like, he's, he's more of just a resident of, of the town. Um... But he's shown okay. interest in wanting to join. He's just kind of not old enough yet to join. Okay. Okay. He's more like a like a young adult, like or like older teen. Okay. Oh, I should bring you guys. You probably can't see. And is there any kind of map or resource to show us the locations of these sinkholes? Are you asking me or you're asking Alex? Alex, sorry. <laughs> or Alec. It's like, oh, it's um, Alec? Yeah, Alec. My, my sniffle, he knows, probably doesn't help with pronunciation. Apologies. <laughs> you might have said plural, too, or like, you know, yeah, apostrophe us, and I just... It, it went to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so many possibilities. Yes. <laughs> like, um... Well, I mean, uh, Colt Ski and the, and the Sheriff, since, you know, we don't have you guys here yet, they've been trying to, to mark out the locations. Mm -hmm. And cool. three, four so far? Okay. That's a lot. All right. Well, we should probably go meet up with Colt and Ski. Mm hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, as we get out of the carriage, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to like pull them back from behind Alec a bit, so like he can't hear what we're saying because you know he's not really in the adventure guild or whatever the venture company. Okay. Um, and I want to tell them very briefly about my vision and that I think we should investigate the sinkholes and that'll lead to the train people. Well, if you say so. Yeah. I think it's a good, I think it's a good, a good, um, course of investigation. Well, all right. Let's get all of you in here. Movie up. Yeah. <clears throat> so as you guys kind of look around where the cart stopped, um, in front of you, you see a like a temple or church. Um, to the right of you, you see a kind of not fancy, but like a very modest looking uh, hotel. Um, then you can see the sheriff's, uh, office as well. It's a two-story building. Uh, and then across from it is the town hall. Okay. So where are we meeting Skeet and, uh, the other guy? <laughs> So, Ski and Colt are in the hotel. The, the Starling Hotel. All right. I think we go with Alec to meet them, yeah? Mm. Yes. First? Okay. And yeah. then we can warn the bank after. 
that you guys enter the hotel. It's uh, two stories, which is um, the first. As you walk in, there's just like modest red carpet uh, with kind of like diamond like patterns on it. Um, some orient, not oriental, um, ornate kind of armor on, on the walls. Like a little sitting area uh, for people to either just sit and wait for the room or just hang out. Um, and then the front counter, you see a white Haragon with a black spot over one of her eyes, or one of their eyes, uh, sitting in one of the chairs. Larger, very large battle axe beside them. It should not be possible for this little bunny to hold it. Uh, behind the desk, you see a human female, um, brown hair, um, with a halfling with sandy brown or sandy blonde hair beside her. Uh, he has his right arm is made of metal. Um, it looks like he's kind of showing her the ropes on, on what to do. Anyone know what this what? coal and skeet look like? Uh, you... I like is leading us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Alex, or Alec goes up to the, the front counter and is like, we, uh... We got the the newbies from the adventure company here, Colt. He looks up and he's like, "Oh, that's that's great. Um, welcome. I'm Colton, but you guys can just call me Colt. Feels weird to have my full name among uh, fellow adventure company." Um, and then over there, and he points to the the hair gone. That that's Ski. Um, if she asks you to be her friend, just say yes, please. Please just say yes. We say right. no. There's... There's one thing you gotta know about Ski. Is... You're either friend or your foe. And if you call her Ski... Skeletta, without her say so, she's not gonna like you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> All right. Cold and ski it is. And at her name, Gizzy is kind of like twitch and she runs over and she's like, oh, Hi, my name's Skeetletta, but my friends call me Ski. You must be the newbies. Are you, are you here to help? Uh, Did you get them rooms, Colt? And Colt's like, they just got here, Ski. <laughs> but yes, they have rooms. They don't have their keys, but they have rooms. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to meet you, Ski and Colt. Do you want to be friends? Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. She takes out a, a notebook, flips a few mm. pages, like ten, in, and it's like, okay, what are your names? Oh, this feels like a fate trap. <laughs> uh... You can call me Toggle Woggle Cobble Boggle, but uh, don't ask about my middle name. <laughs> what is your middle Just name, thirsty. T Dubs? Dude, I just said don't ask about it. I don't <laughs> like telling people. When you put it that way, I need to know now. <laughs> Woggle. We'll get back to this. I need to know. This is important information. <laughs> it certainly isn't, but. Uh... It is when you make it weird like this. My name's Al. Just call me Al. Al, That's what? okay. What? Huh? What'd you say to me, Titty Dibs? I said, since when? Since I don't trust Al. no fey creatures. With uh -huh. notebooks. But I a like this skeet. wouldn't need. Skeet, skeet, skeet. My friend. It's ski. That's what I said. Ski. I feel like that's what I'm saying. No, you're adding a little extra at the end there. It's just, oh. add, is it I or two E's? It's an I. S-K-I. S-K-I. Yeah, ski. That's what oh, I'm I spelled it wrong. 
I'm Cassie. You can call me Cassie. And she looks over at the the gnome. She's like, Do you want to be my friend too? <laughs> just, like, just like, he's not sure what to say. And Cole's just like, Yes. And he's like, Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm Dennis, and uh, and uh, and that's um Randolph. She quickly writes the names down. She's like, Okay. And then she runs back to her shake to her seat. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Colt, there was, uh, an altercation on the train ride over here. Um, there was, uh, a few individuals who were harassing, uh, Randolph over here. Um, we put a stop to it, but the culprits got away. We could not apprehend them. Hmm. Did they say why they wanted him? Well, uh, Mr. Randolph here is a, a renowned alchemist. Uh, apparently he's got uh, some rare and expensive ingredients and has particular skills that are coveted. And we're under the assumption that's why. Okay, and he's keeping those ingredients here? In the bank. We also have... Yeah, in the bank. <laughs> so oh. we think they're gonna try to get it from the bank. Or come after him again, maybe? I know that... There's been some other kind of notable figures um, who like to stay in the, in the small town here. Um, they keep their, their precious items in, in the bank as well. I think it's... they're planning a heist? Probably? It's maybe? Possible. Or they wanted the stuff to do a heist? I don't know. You can build a lot of stuff with alchemy. Yeah, that's... That's above my level of understanding. I also have reason to believe that they're affiliate... Like, that they use the sinkholes, or somehow, they're somehow connected to the sinkholes. Okay, but... We... See, so we still don't know what's causing the sinkholes. All these people are connected to them. He reaches under the desk um, and kind of motions for you to follow him over to the table, kind of where Ski is. And he lays on a map of, of the town and kind of the surrounding area. And he points to a spot by the stables. A spot by the mines. Uh, a spot by a ranch. And then one just just outside of town. He's like, well, these are the sinkholes we found. Do you know mm -hmm. if any of them have crystals in them? Glowing crystals? Um, or do all, they all? I think they all do. Oh. I mean, people have looked in them, but they don't seem to be connected, like, to each other. Is there a, a pattern to it? Like, one after the other were found? Or uh, they coordinate around a certain point? Like, if you, if you make an X with them, does it uh, crisscross over a certain spot? Or... Circle a spot or crisscross applesauce. Do they make a line? I, I don't I don't quite follow here. Um give me an insider investigation. Sweetly. 
Anyone Can doesn't 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 just have to be him. Can we all uh, do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please do. My bonuses are not great. <laughs> Insight or investigation? Yeah. Okay. Oh, inside of this. Oh no. Hey, look at that. Dirty twenty. Oh, thanks. Uh Toggle Woggle. You mm -hmm. kinda of look at it and it's like they're kind of all like in different quadrants, and that's all you can tell. Uh Altera. Um you notice that the <coughs> excuse me. Um that the one kind of by the stables seems to be was the first one. And then by the ranch, and then at the mine, and then at just outside of town. So they're getting further Whereas away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Where's Cassie? Oh, wait, uh, so mm -hmm. versus distance from like downtown or like center of town, are they getting, does it look like they're getting closer or are they like speckled around town? They're kind of speckled around. Okay. Hmm. Or two are kind of like more in town than the other mm -hmm. two. Okay. Okay. Um, but Cassie, you notice that the first sinkhole probably the smallest, and then they seem to get bigger in size. Um. Now. If that's to that was the first one they tested, like they whatever did this tried to do, um, or if it was working within a certain parameter, you're not sure. But I would have like said that out bigger. loud. Yeah. So they're getting bigger. Um, some in town, some out of town. Uh. Are they are they making an escape route? Well, you said they're not connected, right? That they know we, of. Yeah, that, that, that we know of. Hmm. Was there any sort of explosions or anything when these these uh, holes appeared? No, it's just like the ground caved in on itself. Huh. Was there any vibrations in the ground? Any, any sort of sounds that came from the hole? Or is it just literally the ground just caved in on itself? Uh, ski pipes up. I, I think I heard like scurrying. No, not like a spider, but like something was there. Some sort of scurrying. But when, when I jumped down to see, there was it, it was gone. Well, hmm. plus my dark vision's not the best. My first thought is that this, maybe something's underneath this town and it's growing bigger and it's got to, like, come up for air every once in a while and it's just getting bigger as it goes. <laughs> that, Much bigger? That's a Lisa, terrifying thought. Lisa and I got mm -hmm. Come on. She, she, like, pets the handle of her uh, axe and like, but we got it. <laughs> So, sorry, one more clarification. Are there any with, so, like, um, are there any within the town limits? The, the stables? Yeah, yeah, just. Okay. Just just behind, so, like, the, the town hall and the saloon there. Was was it's... there anything, um, missing? Um, I mean, the rancher got her cattle, like, half her cattle stolen. But besides that, no. Oh. Like stolen because they fell into the hole? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Any remnants of these cows down there? By the time we could all get down there, they they were gone. <laughs> Just gone. No blood, no no visit. No blood, no mess. Hmm. Deep are they normally? Say again? How deep are they about? Oh, yeah, they are. Da, da, 
They're like... Mm, the biggest one's about eight feet wide. And like... 50 feet down. Whoa. So it's narrower and deeper than I expected. <laughs> well, hell. I don't particularly like that measurement of distance. Yeah, 50 feet deep. is a lot of me's. <laughs> <laughs> like 50 of them. A little bit more. 50 would be well, no, if, one foot. If, <laughs> right. Yeah. If it, so I was insulting your height, and you just like how long to it? I feel like. Listen, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not thinking clearly about numbers and mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> Joke went over your head, like most things. Oh no! <laughs> oh. People are like, do you have something in short people? <laughs> not at all. I just like making fun of my friend T Dubs. <laughs> ah, it's um. Anyway. Anyhow, anyway, and if why, um, I'm not making heads nor tails of this right now. Um, we've given you some extra pieces to this conundrum. Uh, do you mind if we just rest for a bit? Oh, no, of course not. I mean, it sounds like you've had quite the journey over. Indeed. Yeah, well, it's not easy. No. The little man comes clean. over and hands you each a set of keys to your room. Thank, Thank you very much. All right. You can go up to your rooms. You can stay here. And stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a quick respite. Um, mm -hmm. A little cat nap. Yeah. But we reconvene in an hour. Sounds good. All right. Oh, sounds all right. Yeah. Everyone, yep. take a short rest. Okay. Well, spell slots restored. Nice. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. So there's some napping going on. What uh? What else? What is what is Toggle doing? Um. I think that uh, while I'm resting, I'm just mulling over in my head the the different types of uh, holes and how deep they appear to be and where they appear to be. And just um, I keep wondering about that bank and just where is the bank in relation to all these things? Does it connect at all? I don't know. But, um, well, I'm also wondering if, uh, alchemical ingredients are causing the holes, or if, uh, some creature is digging them. And I think I'm. A little more scared about a creature that can dig a hole eight feet wide and 50 feet deep because that thing can swallow me without chewing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm I'm not too keen on that. So that's where my okay. mind's at. All right. What is Cassie doing the during the rest? Um, she's probably going to meditate a little bit. Um. What do you think? You think? Yeah. Meditate and like think about the map and if she can make any kind of connections to what she knows of the bank possible robbing and the the sinkholes. Try to re recall more of the vision. Um, yeah. 
Give me a investigation. Okay. Not great. Nope. You got this. (laughs) (laughs) From the map, (laughs) I'll I'll give you something. From the map, you can see that the sinkhole is about here. Can can you see it on the the map? Mm -hmm. Okay. But the bank is over here, like across from the hotel and beside City Hall. Okay. That's the closest sinkhole to the bank. Correct. Okay. Another one is? One was like over here. Okay. And uh, what is Altera doing? Uh, All right. I think I'm going to find myself out on the balcony a little bit. Find myself in this rocking chair, just sitting there, just kind of overlooking the town from from my viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reload my rifle a couple rounds that uh, I spent on it as uh, as I relax here for a minute. Um, There's two things I actually would like to do. Um, first, mm-hmm. I'm going to try and remember if there's anything, any sort of identifying markings I've seen on the three rascals that tried to harangue us on the, the train. You mean like tattoos, moles, something yeah, and, like that? And, and, and it's sort of like if they would have carried some sort of like guild marking or a badge maybe or some sort of uh, something that maybe like donates that they're part of uh, some sort of organization that they may not be then may not have said out loud. Uh, there was nothing guild-wise, but you did notice on their clothing stitched in were different uh, animals. And does that remind me of anything that would piece together if they're from an organization, or does this seem like it's just something I notice across the three of them that matches? Give me a history. 13. 13. It it just seems like it's something for them to identify each other. Like okay. they're part of the same like group. Crew or whatnot. It doesn't but, seem like nothing, yeah. nothing larger than just these three. Correct. All right. Uh, if that's all I got from that, I'm going to kind of look around what I can see in, in the town from my slightly elevated vantage point. I'm going to check the, the bell tower, see if I see anything up there. Um, just from where I'm at, just kind of like trying to notice the vantage points that I, I can see from around town. Bell tower, uh, top of the sheriff's station. I'm going to look, see if I can see the hole from here. I'm going to clock the bank, see if I notice anything fishy going on there in this moment. Uh, yeah, give me either perception or investigation. All right. 19. 19, okay. Uh, from where you are on, like, the veranda... Yeah. See that sheriff station? Looks like there's, like, a trap door. Like... The- like from like an attic or something. Okay. Um, the bank, like there's a guard standing outside and there's the sheriff's right across from it. So you think it'd be kind of, well, dumb for anyone to try and, and rob it. Does the, the guard uh, seem to be like on high alert? really lax, just a initial, like, is he leaning on the wall? Is he standing up, kind of keeping his eyes around? What's uh, my general read on him? Just he's, a quick scan. It's kind of a, a quiet town, so he's uh, just kind of, like, leaning against one of the, one of the posts, but alert. Okay. 
um, see a, a bugbear kind of like walking around the town, too. Nothing seems off about him, but just clock him. Yeah. I would say through like the buildings, you you would be able to see the the hole. Kind of in in the pen of where the stables are. Okay. It's not as big. It's maybe about three foot wide. Okay. Um, from what I can see from here, anything about it seem like there's been. Are there any like? anything donating that it, it's been like set up so people can't just fall into this hole or is it there's, there's nothing marking it it's space uh well it mainly is inside like the the corral okay um i'm guessing no other cows around it yeah like any any animals would would be in the in the stable okay kind of kept there It's kind of like rope in in front of the the gate. Okay. To say like hole keep out. <laughs> and just last question: Do I see mm -hmm. any? Does it seem like the dirt was pushed up and out, or like is there a mound of dirt around it, or did it seem like the dirt kind of fell in? No, look, the door dirt fell in. Okay. Well, then I'm just gonna spit my my dip out and uh, go ahead and make my way back in and find the rest of my party all right as you go back inside uh you know so older like 50s ish uh White-haired man is now kind of talking to, to Skeen Colt. Yeah, he's human. Huh? Um, they seem to be in some type of conversation, hmm. sitting where. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, just sitting where you had just sat when you, when Colt was showing you the map. Mm-hmm. As you all come back downstairs. He looks at you and says, Oh, you must be the new um, people from the adventuring company. Mm -hmm. Colt was told us about your comings. Uh, my name is Junius. I am the deputy. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Likewise. To Julius. Yeah. J U N I U S. Oh, Junius. Okay. He's Junius. So, uh, Deputy Jules, is there anything you can? Jules. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything uh, you've kind of uncovered that you may be able to help us in this uh, investigation? I mean, more than what Colts told you. Well, I mean, how do you know what Colts told us? I uh, assume that uh, maybe something's got lost along well, we the were just Well, we were just talking about you. And him and Ski are still part of the Adventure Company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I don't understand what you're getting at. I'm sorry. I'm just waking up from a nap. I'm a little groggy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I actually was the one that help Skeef with make the map of the holes. Ah, well, appreciate your efforts and contributions. Now, um, forgive me for interrupting, but, uh... Of course not. Ski had mentioned some skittering they had heard, um, or thought they heard. Cassie, do you remember when you told us about your, uh, your vision, there were some creatures involved? Yes. Did I have, like, sound in, like, that kind of sense when I, with my vision? Um, what kind of creatures in... were those? 
Yeah, in Cassie's vision, um, the creatures either flew or they slithered. Nothing that would make, like, okay. skittering noises. Yeah. Uh, that I, makes me oh, fun. Yeah. None of the creatures I saw really made skittering sounds, but it's possible there's others down there. I don't know the connection. Mm. We could go to the holes, though. And do what? Look at them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he... Come on, T-Dub. So, uh... Come on, don't, don't do this to me, T-Dub. I need you to buck up here. It's Ooh, like 12 of me in, in, in uh, depth. Uh, I'm... I'll do it. I'm just nervous. We'll tie a rope around your waist and just drop you down. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Are you scared of the dark? He asked. <laughs> I'm scared of hats. Well, once you hit the floor, it won't be high anymore. There. Yeah, right. That's science. And remember, can't your bird, can your bird go down there? It's not the fall. Or it's not the, the falling part that kills you. It's the landing. Right. You'll be fine. That That doesn't help. Yes, I could fly. send Flick down. I could send Flick down. That that is an option there. Um, it's like, I can oh, also detect man. magic, like sense for magic in the area to see if they're magically created. Possibility. Um. All right. Uh. Do you want to go take a look? I think we should. I mean, it's why we're here, right? I suppose. It's like, oh, <laughs> I can take you. Wait, which which one do you want to go to? <laughs> she I seems mean, very excited for this. Weird. Which one did you hear the skittering at? Um, that one was by the branch. It's also near. I say one. that one. Yeah, I reckon that's yeah. probably where we start our investigation. All right. There's also the cows that we're missing there. Yeah, yes. but cows don't skitter either. No. Well, but if they went in a different direction, at least there'll be some sort of remnants. They don't exactly hide their tracks well. Mm, they leave behind pies. Mm. Don't eat the pies. I would. Mm -mm. I feel like that's probably <laughs> information that, while helpful, <laughs> probably should be self explanatory. Mm hmm. We're going to have to have a talk, T Dubs. <laughs> I don't trust. I don't trust his decision making very much. <laughs> Listen, I will tell you my middle name if you do not question that particular conversation. I, I accept this deal. What's your middle name, T Dubs? <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, as you were having this conversation, uh, Ski uh, hopped over the fence. And standing on the the edge of the hole. Mm -hmm. um. Actually, as we walk there, mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you if, like, yeah. if they've seen any people resembling the people we saw. So, like, I'll describe the tiefling and elf, or sorry, it's Seru Serusha and yes. uh, halfling, and ask if they've seen them or if people that look like them. Uh, he thinks for a second and then says we have heard in in the other towns of uh, similar looking people um, but not here not, not here yet but I mean we're all pretty close together so if they've hit right. there they'll probably hit here okay oh you've heard of them hitting like heisting there yeah, yeah. Oh, There's... oh, okay. Was there any a little more sleepier? Any holes that appeared in these other towns? I think like one, one in each. But one in there's each. not really much to steal from there. Right. All right. Is there a mineral deposit beneath this town that we should know about? Mm. Nothing like extravagant. Like nothing worth like stealing for. That does not answer my question. <laughs> um, 
That is all she says. All right. <laughs> he turns around. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit down. Uh, a solid like five feet away from the hole. Okay. Um, and and my eyes will do the black sclera thing again. Uh, as I go into the eyes of my raven familiar, um, and with a deep, like, chesty, bassy caw, uh, Flick's gonna fly into the hole. And while he's doing that, uh, Al is just getting out his rope, like, tying it into a loop, getting, sizing it up to (laughs) DW's body. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Slowly tightening <laughs> it around his waist. <laughs> so bad. Tying off the other end to something so you know he's got a good anchor point. Just oh, waiting. Goodness. We're just gonna wait at this point. Wow. So you're not gonna like push him over into the not, hole? Not yet. We gotta see what's down there not first. <laughs> see what's I love down that. there. Not then we'll yet. And we'll send T dubs down. I'd, while they're flying down, mm-hmm. I'd like to use detect magic. I have it once per long rest, so it doesn't take a spell slot, right? If it's that's the case. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah. Okay. So I thought. Um. So as if an effect was created by a spell. And then I learned the spell School of Magic. So I'm assuming that would a- apply to the hole, even though the hole's deeper than the range. Yeah, like, like if there was any... Hole? Yeah, there'd be still be, like, remnants around, like, the top of it. Right, okay. Do I get anything? Uh, you do not detect any School of Magics, no. Okay. Anything else within 30 feet of me? <laughs> Just for funsies. No, not, not no, at this okay. time. Okay. <laughs> I'll just say to Altera, I was like, I, this, I don't think this was magical. I don't know if I should be happy or concerned about that. Well, it's one thing that it's not. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you see him just like <laughs> eyeing <laughs> TW. Just like, just waiting. <laughs> just <laughs> wait. Just for... wait to like kick him down the hole. Just the second he I comes back to five the feet away from the hole, so that it's not as easy as that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what what do I see with my special eyes? Your special eyes. They have your brand. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> that came from uh yeah as flick flick right i should know this flick yeah yeah uh flies down the um, thing that <laughs> altair is about to do to me flick me down the hole he's a kind of narrow cave path but as as he flies deeper um and further into it um, he comes to a wide opening with blue crystals um, shining, letting oh. light. Um, oh, excuse me, providing light to the cavern. And an old there... rickety, vi- old rickety-looking bridge. There's a cave with uh, glowing crystals. There's there's a bridge. Do I know if he can hear me or not in this state? I believe I when cannot, he but... enters the state, he becomes like blind and deafened. Right. Mm-hmm. Cassie would probably know that. We've worked together before, right? Yeah. Okay. Altair is still figuring it out, but Cassie. Would know. <laughs> I just forget some. I'm pretty wise. It. I'm not that smart. Uh, I'm pretty wise. So uh, there, there's. There's a cave at the bottom. It's glowing with these crystals. There's, there's a bridge. Do I, do I see which direction this bridge is leading to? How big the bridge is? Um, it's probably about thirty feet long and like five, ten feet wide across a um 
like a canyon. So it's like connecting two sides of the cave. I would uh, elaborate on that. Um, and then rest in the uh, rest and flick on on the ground so he's not like constantly flying. I'll come back to my senses, notice the rope. God dang it! You ready to go? <laughs> you said you said a bridge. Yeah, an old rickety bridge. It's about there 30 feet. There was a bridge in my vision. What happened on the bridge in your vision? I crossed it. <laughs> and then I led to more cave with the people on the train. Well, I... And snake I guess people. that's what we're doing. Yep. Just, oh, snake after you. Creatures. Mm, were they people or creatures? Creatures. <laughs> okay. I think I just wrote I thought I think I wrote snake like snake like beings. <laughs> and mm. I did snake men in my head. Okay, so there's snake creatures down there and rat bats. Rat bats. Yeah. Which w- You're which? like a mix of rats and bats. Isn't that just a bat? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're the girl and I feel like you should know this. <laughs> <laughs> what were they exactly? I wrote down rat bats. <laughs> Yeah, so they're bat like, bastards. are they bigger than like normal bats or something? Uh, slightly and more like fleshy toned. Ew. Like, oh, more like, of, like naked rom- like a naked mole rat. Yeah, with like an Good extra bats. pair of arms in the center of their body. Ew. I'll describe that to you guys. <laughs> I, I mean, please stop. You're not oh. putting up a <laughs> solid <laughs> argument for why I should be heading down there, but. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you've already got the rope on you. I feel like that's you volunteering. Come on, it's time to go down. <laughs> you're you're so right. <laughs> what? Um, how much rope do we have? Most most packs have fifty feet of like hemp or silk rope. Okay, because yeah, I just said my inventory just says rope. Yeah, huh? I, I looked for mine too. It just says rope. Yeah, very helpful. So, uh, I'll, I guess start rappelling down. All right, good call. I'm really happy for you taking the initiative on this. Yep, that's How... that's me. <laughs> Remember, that's that's it's fifty total. So if you uh-huh. put it around something, you're losing some feet. We could I've only tie got two of together. them. Because I also have rope. Yeah, if you want to tie them together, give yep. you like a hundred foot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See you later, T Dubs. Thank you so much, Cassie, for that that assistance there. But we, uh, we need to go down there. Right. It's a team effort. We're right? following you. We're providing the rope. You're providing the body. Come on. That's how it works. It's a team. Yep. You got this. I have faith. You. Uh, I'll start. Um, I'll start repelling down. Can I cast light on like a bit of his like something on his back? So it lights up around him. As as yeah. I say, you got this. Um, I'm gonna cast guidance on him. For or does that work on? It works on checks, right? Guidance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna cast guidance. I'm like, you got this, and touch him and mm-hmm. cast guidance. Thank you. for a minute. Okay. So the next uh, ability check he does. <laughs> Was it a D four? Four. Yeah. Yeah. D four. Yeah. Perfect. Right. You say it lasts and, uh, until the spell ends. So it's for whatever ability checks done in the next minute. Or if I do it again or something. Yeah. Oh, I don't want him. Okay, so toggle woggle and flick. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh... Do I need to make any checks or... Because they've secured me to this rope. You, they had tied it around your waist, correct? Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, you don't. You don't need any checks. They could drop me down, uh, Mission Impossible style. Yeah. I have music for this. Oh, 
I was moving you here, but I got distracted. Appreciate you doing the things. Yeah. No. Hmm? All right. Are you able to see, my friend? Uh, should be. I'm not using the familiar at the moment. Ooh. Do you have dark vision? Yeah. Yes, Do you all took vision? dark vision. That's right. <laughs> you yeah, should. We all did, yeah. Where, I did say use dark, dark vision. vision. Recommended. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark vision, 60 feet. Yeah, I don't think your token has it for some reason. There. That's okay. You should be good. I'm gonna give the rope a few tugs and just untie it from my waist. Can I... So I have message. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a cantrip. Um, it says I can cast it through solid objects. Does that kind of go in the uh, same with not being able to see him at the bottom of the hole? Yeah. Since I know him. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna like do the whisper then be like, is it are you down there? Is it safe for us to come down? <laughs> and then he can sit, talk back to me. You think you could hear him fifty feet down? It says a range one hundred and twenty. Well, the message, it, like, only I can hear it. They can reply in a whisper that only I can hear. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like magic. This magic is not like magic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'll say that. Like, is it safe for us to come down? Or are you good? I'll toggle. Are they good? I'll start, like, screaming in my head. Ah! Oh, no, he's screaming. We should probably get down there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. I'm going to pick up just a, a handful of rocks. <laughs> oh, he scared me. <laughs> I pick up a handful of rocks, cast light on all of them, and just dump them down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah, oh, ah. <laughs> no. Ah. Well, it's fine. C ah. Come on come on down. Don't leave me here alone. Did you all have 60 feet, or did one of you have 120? I have 60. For what? Sorry? Dark, Dark vision. Dark vision. Uh, mine's 60. Okay, so you're all 60? Perfect. Oh, that might have been the other game. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'd rappel down then, yeah? Yeah. Um, I would cast Guidance on myself. Um, you got this. I believe in you, but I, I, I need this help, I think. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. oh, oh, never mind. All right. Both of you give me acrobatics. Okay. See how, how well you do this. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't need it, but here's my D4 anyway. Or oh, plus six. And I still got 11. Um, yeah. Cassie, I got 22. You... You you go down that like you know like those silk dancers that like Cirque du Soleil and stuff. Yeah, you, yeah. You you go down it like that, like nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Altera, Altera, on the other okay. hand, <laughs> he, he made it. He got a little rope burn though, so take like three damage. <laughs> Son of a biscuit! <laughs> I thought you could do that better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hands are a little uh, coarse now from from the rope, <laughs> but you all make it down safely. All right. Okay. What do what do we see? So we see the bridge. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you see the bridge. It's kind of old looking. You see like the blue. Oh, excuse me, crystals. Is there a map that I'm not seeing? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. Because you guys are still on the other one. There. You should all be able Ooh. to see it. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Can I... Would I be able to trace my steps from the vision? Um, 
What you remember from your vision, this cave looks similar, but not the same. Okay. I'll tell that. I'll be like, now that I'm down here, this doesn't look exactly like my vision, but it does look similar. So maybe it's a different cave after all. <laughs> all right. I guess we just head back up then. I mean, Sorry. we could keep going, though. <laughs> it could be connected. <laughs> <laughs> Go jump down the other one, so we could do that. <laughs> All right, so we got, we got, we got, we got, we got a bridge that way. Looks like there's a path that way, and a rope that way. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be harder to get up than it was to get down. Oh, I, I, I'm aware. There, that was part two of the reason I didn't want to come down here. <laughs> that is a lot of me's to have to climb back up. Uh-huh. Um, however, uh, d does does the bridge at least look familiar? Like I said, it looks similar, but it's not exactly the same as my vi my vision. Cross the dang bridge, Cassie. For uh, for. Okay. Okay. Fine. Come on. Let, let... <laughs> <laughs> Slightly different. Kind of the same. Who knows? <laughs> um, All I heard was old bridge, and there was an old bridge in my vision. So. I mean, that sounds like one to one. Let me ask you yeah, a question, right? T Dubs. I thought you could turn hmm. into birds. Why don't you? Why is it so hard for you to fly back up there? No, no, I cannot turn into birds. Uh, I, I can, I can summon a bird. That is what Flick is. I cannot turn into anything. I feel like I just saw you turn into like a mouse, like a couple hours ago. That, that, that was, was Cassie. Oh, right, right, my fault. My fault. And I can't do that anymore today. I'm a little tired. Mm, mm, I can see that being a little problematic. Um, what am I looking for? That guy. That guy? What is there like a no, magic don't worry about it. Like, <laughs> you have answer my riddles three to cross my bridge. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Damn trolls. <laughs> Who's you know, that clip clapping you, you, over you, my bridge? You, you might find out. No, what if I don't want to find okay. out? I, don't, I haven't fucked okay. around not well, once. You, should, <laughs> you certainly have. <laughs> We've about right. ten yeah. minutes left. All right. So. All right. I what mean, I guess we're fucking close to this bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone, give me acrobatics. Because it is old. Bridge. Yeah. Uh, is this within a minute <laughs> of me casting guidance? Yes. Cool. Hey. Um. <laughs> Oh Guess no, what? it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Six. <laughs> oh gosh. Um Is it a cave? Is it just a crevice below? I like ten foot down. And you ten feet. You all bad. fall in. <laughs> we all fall in? <laughs> You you all rolled oh. really bad. I'm oh, sorry. We all did. This may oh. be old, roll. but oh, we'll say Toggle uh, didn't right roll yet. I didn't roll. I was... Oh, okay. Toggle, I was gonna give you, myself you guidance. Oh, you have guidance. I do have guidance. I I remembered that after you cast it. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. It won't help. <laughs> You could get over a ton with the guidance. Uh, mm. Not the way we've been rolling this evening. Do it anyway. Oh. <laughs> Four. Right. Oh, look at that. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Up to an Toggle 11. Is, is able to get, get across. Uh, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. Cassie and, and, and good old Altera, uh, do not, as they have fallen off the bridge <laughs> into the crevice. We both fall off, and T Dubs just walk across, like, "What the fuck are you two doing?" 
Did well, it like break? Or imagine it as like off? he went across first, and then you tried to follow, and then just because it's so old, it was creaking, and it's wrecked, and it just kind of like splits. Well, you two are still on it, and you Sweet. fall. I mean, we are heavier and bigger than him, so I guess it makes whoa, sense. Whoa, whoa, I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Nagawango's just gonna... <laughs> back to the bridge, just put his head down and just... Come on. Did, did we take damage, or...? I'll no? take, like, three. Like three okay. falling from falling. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. I do not have uh, rope. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, because I used no question. Uh-huh. He did go to the hole with you, but oh. did you want her to come down, or she? I wouldn't uh-huh. have stopped her. Would you guys have wanted to stop her? No, she's crazy. Bring her along. (laughs) She's crazy. (laughs) We need the energy. (laughs) Uh, Okay. Yeah. So we'll say Ski. I forgot she'd come. She came. Uh, We'll say she stayed on the other side of the bridge. (laughs) She hasn't crossed yet. (laughs) You can jump real far. She can, yeah. She she jumped real good. <laughs> that was Funny a great wood. sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is going to tie her rope around one of these crystals and then toss the rest down for you to climb up. All right. Okay. Again, give me some acrobatics. This is probably over a minute now, or are we still in a minute? No, this is probably over now. Uh, I guess I could just cast it again. I was gonna say, technically, <laughs> yeah, technically, I can't do it right again. You guidance said doesn't last. Athletics? Uh, I mean, unless it's a twenty twenty four rule, uh, guidance goes away every time you use it, so you just have oh. to keep recasting it. Yeah. It says it lasts for a minute if you don't cast it, if you don't use the guidance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, and you so, used your guidance. Oh. Because it, okay, it doesn't say that very well in the it spell. Might be a, then. It might have been changed for twenty twenty four. Okay, because it says until yeah. the spell ends, the creature adds one d four. Okay, so they changed it for twenty twenty four because people. And it doesn't say when it ends, except for yeah, it doesn't say when it ends. No. I have a plus six check. for acrobatics. I just want that to be known. It's my highest skill. Oh, mm-hmm. you said acrobatics. Okay. Yeah. What did um, you get? I got twenty. This, I got nineteen, <laughs> so it's twenty five. <laughs> Okay. And then Very my good, guidance. guys. <laughs> so 22. Okay, I'm going to see with those rolls, you can land, or you can climb up and go on either side of the bridge. Which okay. which side do you want? I am playing this game again. Oh, so like my happy this side? Here. Yeah, like or this, this side. side? Yeah. Or that I'm going to go on this side, because that's the side <laughs> we're trying to go. Jubal. <laughs> okay. Uh, and seeing that the bridge is now broken, uh, she's going to get a rope back, and she's just going to hop across. All right. Because of rabbit hop. All mm-hmm. right. And jump five times the proficiency bonus. Damn. Damn. For decks? Or just proficiency bonus? So, like... Just- like 50 just, just yeah, just straight proficiency. Right. Like not even including her any normal jumping distance. Okay. But I think because of the time, we're gonna stop here for the night. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. So I tune in next Tuesday over on Legomancy media for part two will these guys find out (laughs) what's causing the holes is it really those strangers on the train that are behind the bank robberies are gonna be robbing the bank guess you'll have to find out okay 
Um, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can still donate. This donation goes on till what? When the all, the whole month of whole October? Month. Does it continue? Like, can you? Is that link still going to be active? Do you know? Yeah. Okay. So the link will be active in perpetuity. Um, so you can still donate to uh, Roll for Wishes, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, Roll for Roll for Wishes. Right. Um, even if you're watching us on YouTube, the other half of this is going to be hopefully on the Lego Mancy YouTube channel in a week from Logo Mancy. Logo Mancy. <laughs> you said Lego. I was like, I thought it was Logo, but I wasn't going to correct you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, so you can catch us the other part two of this on that channel. I think that's all I got. I've got nothing else. If you've got nothing else. I have nothing else. So, rem- thanks for watching, guys. Remember. Thank you. We love you, geeks. Thanks oh, wait. Hosting. Stop. No. Wait. Everyone, no. shout out yeah. where people can find you and where you do all your amazing things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jackie, start uh, us off. I- oh, am I starting? Okay. Uh, yeah, I stream over on Legomancy, or Logomancy. Um, I'm part of, of their Wednesday night game, which this world is set in. Um, <laughs> I'm also there for Roll for Wishes campaign tomorrow. Um, and then I do have my own... Sorry, it's late. My brain is <laughs> broken now. <laughs> I also have my own <laughs> Twitch, uh at Jackie Sky Knight, if you want to follow me. I sometimes play Dungeons and Dragons, a stream game, doing something in November for a different cause for children. Okay. So come check me out. Amazing. And uh, hey, go ahead and tell us about where everyone can find you. I don't I really it. stream TTRPGs very often, but I did for a little bit. But um, I stream on Twitch um, under Tayray3. And um, I play mostly video games on there. Um, sometimes art, sometimes TTRPGs. The good old variety streamer. Um, yeah. But yeah. And people can follow you on Instagram at tayray 3 streams as well? Yes, yes. That's my Instagram. Yep. Amazing. Uh, Dom, for the people that aren't natives to our channel, go ahead and let everyone know who you are. Hi, I'm Dom. I am... Uh, co-owner and cast member of New Age Geeks. So you can follow me on all the New Age Geeks stuff, but you could also follow me on Instagram under dclemente111. I'm still working on rebranding. Sorry, guys. Uh, and on TikTok as Damiano Danger Doodle. Uh, so yeah, follow me there for uh, also variety of stuff and things. Okay, and. I am Joe from New Age Geeks. Uh, we do tabletop games. We have uh, a bunch of different shows. We do in, in interviews with geeky creators. We do we have um, Queer and Present Danger every other Wednesday, which is our all LGBTQ cast show. We're in a homebrew world by our amazing Cece. She goes ahead and DMs that game. Um, and we have Forging Fates, which is normally every Monday, except for one Monday of the month. Uh, which is a sober D and D campaign set in the critical world of Alexandria, and then that one off Monday is our indie TTRPG show called Goodberry Cafe, where we get to play a new indie game with an all new cast every month and get to learn a new system and have fun while we're doing it. Besides that, love that. I am Joe. I'm at New Age Cosplay on Instagram. That's all I've got for you. If you guys got nothing else, I've got nothing else. And remember, we love you geeks. Good night.